Hello everyone, the other Jared here, playing Secret of Twelve Crystals, A Path to Ruin, session number two. Uh, with me tonight, we have a full house for the first time. Woo! Um, we have uh, Varlis, played by Plasmus. Cog. Alexander, played by Dimmy. Oh, that was Dimmy. And then uh, Thana, played by Ice. Hello! And then uh, Taliandra, played by Joltz. <laughs> Taliande, Taliandre. No, I'm now <laughs> pronouncing it. I'm sorry. I, I pronounce it uh, correctly every single time on purpose almost now. Um, uh, Pterodactyl, played by Joltz. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, wait, did I not say that right? I'm pretty sure I said it right that time. All right, sorry. Uh, Tally on duh day. Just oh, yeah. call him taquitos. Ah, this is, sounds like well. Okay, Tally on day, played by Jolts. Good evening. And then uh, emotion played by Ray. No. Every time I say your name, I get the Aerosmith song "Sweet Emotions" stuck in my head. But anyways, so um, that's our party. Everybody here. Let's go ahead and get started with the introduction. All right. Um, I did not write one. Shit. <laughs> All the shit I wrote today, I didn't write an introduction. Anyway, so let me just go ahead and wing it. Um, you guys uh, last left off uh, having met uh, an elf and two humans after uh, seeking shelter from the, the storm that, uh, you know, affected magic differently. Um, after conversing with them, you learned that they were the keepers of the Elder, the Book of the Elder Evils. And uh, they, they at first pledged allegiance to you, but then after uh, discovering your intentions after finding the book, decided they didn't want to do that anymore. And uh, <laughs> oh, they, that they, they also uh, found out the, the relief, uh, as, as they called it, the, the relief army that was supposed to take uh, them to their place of hiding in these dire times. And uh, they, uh, they seemed kind of surprised that they were there, but uh, nonetheless, they, uh, they, they went up to meet with them and then went to the west. Um, after that, you guys uh, talked, I guess, quote unquote, talked, more like bitched and complained to each other. No. Um, uh -huh. You guys talked for a bit, and that's where we wrapped it up. So, um, the, uh, the storm cloud has passed. Um, you guys were heading to, well, here, let me get up the map. You guys were heading to Drange, right here, right here. Um, and uh, so you guys will, I assume, continue on north. Um, can somebody explain to me what happened in the last, just a quick summary to, so that we can keep, catch uh, Ray up? Um, oh gosh, we had, fi we had figured out the city of of Tarn was completely devastated by, lo and behold, worshippers of no rule and seeking of the book. Mm -hmm. And uh, and from there we had, and from there we went to look around. We um, traveled to tra traveled just north of there, I think, to find a cat an encampment that was protected by birds and things and. A bunch of bandits who knew a little bit more about the book, and when we finally chased the merchant down to get even more information out of him, something had possessed him. Something that was connected to Alexander and Thena's backstory. Something about them. That's all I can recall, at least. Yeah, okay, yeah, so. no. We also all pretty much figured out most of our uh, interests of traveling. Yeah, we seem we seem to work well together. <laughs> so far. well, right? <laughs> Next, more like. <laughs> Don't cross my path. Like that. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna die. One thing you guys notice is to the southwest. I mean, it's hard not to notice the dark cloud, like. Uh, 
Um, we'll just say that you kind of, you rested here for the night. Um, you know, it's there is no day and night. You just rest when you're exhausted, and it's about that time. And uh, when you wake up, you notice the cloud has traveled many, many miles, and it is to the southwest of you. Now, that's still quite a distance. Um, so, so much for having a full house. She, uh, Her internet just completely DC'd Thana. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Well, is she planning on uh, going to attempt? Well, you don't know if she's going to attempt to come back or not, but uh, hopefully she uh, will. She just messaged me letting me know that all her shit went to hell. Wonderful. All right. So it is. It would appear that it is impossible for us to have the entire five people here. Um, our luck. That would be our luck. Um, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna hope that she will reboot that shit and get back in here. But uh, so uh, she yeah, does so you, have a serious story. So. Yeah, it makes it's understandable. Um, but you guys, even at that distance of 500 miles, feel the change. Um, in the uh, in the area around you, you feel the cloud as much as you see the cloud. Uh, it doesn't; it's not affecting you too drastically, but you definitely feel the dread that it opposes or brings upon it. Oh, it opposes. Alright, so I saw a bit saying we should probably we should probably continue on north here to uh, whatever this little ridge area was. In search for the books. Because if I remember, we're like not far away from Drage, right? Uh, yeah, you guys yeah. are uh, within uh, two days' travel of Drage. Drage. If that. Alright, so we're going to be uh, going that way. Because that was the way that the dude pointed, correct? Yes. Or at least Wait, at least tried to imply before his finger snapped on him. So, um, you guys continue to head north. Um, <laughs> I think the finger snapping was the least of his problems. Uh, <laughs> Natelli, uh, He's seems... now a one inch by one inch cube. Uh, Natelli seems... Ex ex you see a look of terror on her face as she knows it's there. It, it's, uh... Um, those of you who have Bard in you, well, actually, anybody with uh, with um, knowledge, uh, insight can roll insight. All right. But yet, just just the only those who are proficient in it, and I, unless you're a Bard, then you can roll it for free. But well, I guess it's just charisma or wisdom at that point. And but, I say, boom. Okay. I fail. <laughs> you guys suck. Oh, by the way, uh. Demi, you did you fix your character sheet because you're running r r rolling in a lower proficiency bonus? Yep, I uh, I fixed it. So Thane rolled an eleven. Alexander does not roll. Okay. Do you know what? Do you know what? Just because you said we shouldn't do it. Action point. <laughs> Fuck. Wait. Wait. What? What do we? What is? What's going on? You using an action? I use an action point. I'll be the first one of this campaign. I'll use an action point. Well, technically, I was the first one I rewrote. Okay, so, stats, what, what are you using oh, it for? Just oh. to make the check? Yes. Okay. Um, you you know, not only is she terrified of this cloud, she she seems to be acting almost as if she knows, like, let, put it this way. So, let's say you meet, like, you guys are walking and somebody's walking in the street and he looks intimidated, but... You can tell that somebody knows that person when they're running away from them. You kind of get that feeling from her, as if like she knows this cloud. That's the best way I can put it. I just tap her on the shoulder. Um, when you tap her, she's like, "What?" <laughs> she like whoa, throws whoa, her whoa, off. whoa, whoa, whoa! Um, oh guys, kick you. Roll initiative. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thunder wave. <laughs> no. All right, this this um, went south real quick. Um, you okay? I know it's imposing and all, but what's wrong? Um, she's like, uh, I don't, I'd, I'd prefer if we didn't talk about it. Let's, let's just make haste. Uh, if, cool, I, I would cool. say we, we go at, uh, as much as we can and hope that it doesn't follow us. Yeah. 
Whatever gods you follow, I would suggest praying to them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, um, Jared, by the way, turn off your thing on Skype. Your camera. Oh, God. Lag. What? Your camera. What about... Is it not on? Oh, I'll turn it off. It's on Skype. on Skype. Oh, whoops. There we go. Normally it's up in the little right-hand corner or something. All right, so um, is it showing now? Uh, let me get to the Twitch. Well, sorry. I have it on my TV, and I don't see you there yet. It is. It will, it will show up. Yeah. <coughs> Once it catches up. Yay. Okay. So, back to the point at hand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so... um. What, where, where were we? I got sidetracked by conversation. We were rolling! Um, oh, yeah. I, I noticed that she's having a really bad oh, time yeah. with the cloud. Yeah, so you guys continue to head north. Uh, you see that she uh, does not... Uh, she says, well, I'll meet you there um, if you can't keep up. And she does not hesitate to keep running. She says, I don't want anything to do with this cloud. And so I'll make a quick little... I'll grab my clasp thing and say, I thank thee for the strength you have given. And I keep going. Um. All right, so you guys can roll me cons to push on if you really want to go full blaze at this. She is. In fact, I should probably roll for her, shouldn't I? Well, most of you guys can ride a horse. I have to walk. Well, she is a horse. <laughs> yeah, I'll roll yeah. a part horse. Well, actually, wait, no, I'm riding. No, I'm riding her right now. Uh, no, I don't think anyone was writing her. No, I don't think. No, I don't think any. Uh, you were at one point, but I don't think you are now. Uh, so uh, what are oh, we all rolled horribly. Uh, I don't right. know. Well, well, if I want you guys good. to fail, I just tell you to roll con saves because uh, you guys failed them last time I made you roll. What are you talking uh, about? The last okay. time you guys were trying to push yourselves. Um, Alexander's fine. Oh, my yeah, constitution just sucks. So you guys actually don't get don't go as fast as you would have liked, but uh, you um, do, the cloud. Wait, hold on. Nice. Alexander will just fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, you will be able to. Do you to, want to leave everyone else behind? To move and leave everybody else behind if you wish. And what about? Uh, she did not roll the the um, uh, Natalie did not roll well enough to leave everybody behind. She failed hers. So. What about Thena? Um. Is that the last roll there? Twelve? No. Yep. no okay. It's very hard to to then. to push through these lands. It's muddy. It's just got done raining and storming. All right then. So then Alexander will not leave everyone behind or leave her behind. So. Okay. Does it seem like the cloud is moving towards us? Uh, give me perception. Hell, I'll even let I'll even let you roll survival since uh, that's part of surviving is avoiding this piece of shit. My perception's higher, so. Can you just can you just let Jolt use his passive? Twenty one. Yes, you can use your passive if you have it. You don't need to roll it. Any, All right. Yeah. Um. Don't forget. Twenty five. Um. All right. Well, so, my passive's twenty one, so I mean fifteen, so I'll take the twenty one. Okay, makes sense. I got I got fourteen. Okay. Uh, just for future reference, uh, if you can either roll or take passive, don't you can't roll and then take the better of the two. But this time, since you didn't know. Um, uh, or since I, I didn't say passive, so I guess it's on me. But uh, you know okay. it's kind of heading this direction, like this. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Right. Like, like, another delay. Like, as we're probably going to have to find another spot to either try to hide out from this thing again. You guys are heading this, like, toward this direction, towards the drage, So it's not heading exactly towards you. I thought you said it's heading this way. Uh, see the green arrow at the cloud? Nope. Oh, it's heading towards the river. It's heading west. Well, yeah, northwest, and you guys are heading northeast. Oh, okay. So it's not heading towards us. Yeah, I mean it's it's moving northward, and you guys move north, but it's moving northwest. You're moving northeast, so it's gonna. It doesn't seem to be following you. Okay. 
you guys. We can be cautious, but just we don't have to freak out. Okay, so. Yeah, you guys are right about a... here. As so as we're going, just like, ugh. well, like, we don't really care about this place, so. Shit yeah, who gives a shit about oh, Jacora? That's an orc village, and who gives a shit about Rivers Keep? They're said to have, have means of averting the clouds attention. So, um, so you guys will eventually uh, continue on north. Uh, somebody roll me a percentage. I only need one. We'll do it. Got to beat a twenty-one. Oh, you're good. Um, you guys will move forward, and you will actually be able to, uh, um, there, there are some things going on around you guys, but you guys will be able to avoid them, um, without conflict, unless you want conflict. Um, well, you guys, I'm good, I have a mission. Yeah. And you I guys, just kind of look over my shoulder, Alexander, don't even think about it. I don't take your, I don't take orders from you, half-wit. That wasn't an order, that was a suggestion. Just shoves by both of you and keeps walking towards the city. <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right. Um, touched. So, um, yeah. emotion. You will. You will get a uh, like a, a tingling sensation as you get close to the city. The city. It's not technically like as big as it looks on a map. It's essentially this really large building surrounded by all these little like an encampment, like a bunch of tents and stuff. Um, and that's what makes the city. It's not uh, super well protected, but there are a lot of people here. Um, Six set up camp around the next big tower. <laughs> say that again? Just people setting up camp around the big tower. Nothing to see here. Yeah, just, just yeah nothing to see here. No, nothing nothing so. that uh, you should destroy or anything, uh, passing orcs. Um, and, uh, it's but like it, a ain't nobody here, but highly it's mobile sediment. Uh, the building, uh, you would guess, is probably not mobile. It's probably too big. But obviously the tents, uh, I think what it is... No, is no, I meant... I'm sorry, I said ahead. highly mobile settlement. Yes, yeah. I mean, you, the basically what you would know, uh, both of the bards would know, that uh, people will make camp around this building, and this building offers protection, and then they will leave, and then other people... So these, camp, these encampments don't stay here. It's a place for, like, mer passing merchants, a place to encamp, and they camp around it, and then they go inside and drink and be merry and sleep, or, you know, maybe have a better place to rest. That's the sole purpose of this building. Um, it's not a, like, a, a established city that stays the same, residents stay the same, except for the people who run the building. Um, Just so, one big tavern. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's, that's, that is the perfect description. Oh, be. Um, and so you guys get to uh, Drag, Drage, Drag, and um, you'll notice that it's like eerily quiet. Like you don't hear. It's usually a bustling noise, uh, a lot of talking and stuff. There's usually like these the purplish fires that represent the fires in this realm lit. Um, none of that. This is dead silence huh. and uh, emotion. You sense something, uh, and uh, you, let's say that you, you have this ability to sense things that are related to either the drow or anything of of relation to that. So either yeah, there's but... somebody you know here or that you have blood relations with, or there is something else that uh, would would draw your tingling sensation that is unknown. I'm going to use my loot to amplify the sound of the entire encampment. Okay, you hear See if there's the any sound at all. Sound of like move like rush like wind passing through uh somebody walking or something like like it's that's like the loudest noise you get. So would I take that as someone walking? Or? No, you don't hear footsteps, you don't hear breathing, you don't hear uh, talking, all you hear is just the movement aspect of it. Yeah. I'm sorry, go just back to her now. Look back to you guys and just be like, stay here. And she's just going to enter the camp with her staff back on her arm, or like holding it. And she's just going to look around and like just slam her staff down on the earth and just like, brothers, sisters, make yourself known to me now. <clears throat> if it's a Someone will make themselves very known to you. If you, uh, what were you going to say, Damien? 
Alexander not appreciating being told what to do. Okay. Goes invisible and follows up anyway. Okay. Um you um yeah, you don't you don't have the same sensation. You I mean everybody kind of gets the feeling that something's not right. I mean, that's pretty obvious, but you're not getting the same intense <laughs> like it's almost like her entire body's asleep kind of like that feeling, that tingling throughout her entire body. You don't get that only she does. Um but um the place kind of looks a little bit ransacked, but a lot of it's left uh, intact. Not like the other city that you've seen, Tarn, where it was just burned to the ground. <laughs> so, um, and there's no markings of uh, New Roll anywhere. Um, as you get inside, give me perceptions. This is the spot. Uh, passive perceptions, uh, not this time because of this, the type of roll. So you have to roll. Uh, nice. Okay. Is this only for emotion and uh, Demi? No, no, it's just. Yeah, I mean, you guys out way back and roll, but you're, the DC is gonna be higher for you guys. Mm. Well, I might as well anyway then. Wow. I failed. <laughs> well, apparently, me and emotion are all over it. Okay, so you guys, um, you guys see these like uh, these like black shadows every once in a while uh, move. Um, it's almost like a, you know how when you're looking in the darkness and you see like uh, the occasional lightning bug, it'll be here and then it'll be there. It's kind of like that, but with like this dark shadow, uh, and it, and the, and there's multiple of them. It's almost like the darkness is thicker than the darkness around them, and that's the only way you can see them. Uh, and they just randomly appear. Uh, and there seems to be a lot of them. Um, but as soon as you say, presence, make yourself known, uh, emotion, you will get a, a, a direct response, uh, and it's whispering into your ear. So with your role, um, Alexander, I'm going to go ahead and say that you, you hear a whisper, but you can't make out what it's saying, but you feel like it's close to um, to her. But here's what it says. Now, I've written down everything he says. I, I, um, there's going to be times where you're going to want to interrupt him and speak. Um, I f just just uh, let me read everything, and then you can s interrupt and say whatever you want, if that's all right. Um, so um, he says... Well, if it isn't the daughter of Matron, and I ap apologize if I destroy this name, a uh, reaction of House Pythraxi. I can smell the stench of um, Plotheus from a mile away. You must ooze with his hatred, or are you just a pawn? Doesn't matter. As far as I'm concerned, I have no daughter. I only have one that I serve, a Sith. All shall feel the pain and suffering my master longs for once I release the elder evils. <laughs> and until you can travel freely between the ethereal and astral planes, you will never be able to touch me. Kind of laughs again. I am everywhere. The only reason I do not crush you right now is because your pathetic Pythios seems to think your clan is worth protecting for the time being. Tell me, has your mother told you the real story behind her meeting, Pythios? How does the story go? Ah, yes, she was tossed in a canyon, the poor bitch, all alone. Ha! The woman was filled to the brim with hate. She hated that she was not as powerful as I. Why else would Pythos come to her? I shall enjoy watching you and your companions fail. And yes, you will fail. Right now, a small band of white-skinned freaks are stomping all over your plans. They are fools just like you. For now, go on and continue your training. It matters not. I've, less, I've left you some company to keep you busy. <laughs> now you can respond. She just growls and just roars and turns around and just literally lets loose a lightning spell right in the shadow's face if it's near her you see nothing 
Or preferably anything that's moving behind her. You see nothing <laughs> moving. You see nothing. You you sense a presence. You don't know where like where it is. You can still shoot the lightning bolt if you wish, but it'll just fly off and. Right. Yeah. She'll use the staff lightning bolt and just. Okay, it just <laughs> flies <laughs> off and uh, and it just continues on until it it, get, it just disappears into the clouds, um, and you'll hear laughter. <laughs> Fool! I just told you. Until you can penetrate the astral or ethereal planes, I am untouchable. And it gets real close oh. when he says that to you. Then she'll just whisper like, well, thank you for letting me know how. Oh, I'll see you soon. I like to give my prey somewhat of an advantage. Tell me, I, I wonder to... how N Nerol will feel about her companions traveling with one that follows Pithios. I can't pronounce my damn dragon's name, son of a bitch. Um, a deity created by the, go the dragon of death, and then you following the dragon of hate. I can't, w it'll be so entertaining watching it unfold. Well, the dragons are the true god. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to tell me that. Um, but uh, at this point, the voice vanishes. And um, what, what would you guys like to do? I'm still kind of like, what the fuck was that noise? Yeah, you, everybody just... saw her shoot a lightning bolt and it went off into the clouds. So When that happened and all you hear is from far away, Varlis is like, holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Why? I've, I've held that, la that line for two sessions. <laughs> <laughs> well, ever since I got your background, I guess. But anyways, um, so, uh, yeah, the city still seems vacant. Um, you're still hearing the, what sounds like the wind. Um, out of game, I'm sure you know what's making that noise, but in game, you have no idea yet. Um, so, what would you guys like to do? So, I, I wait to see what emotion does first. She just seems to be shaking until she notices you there, then she just... No, 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 no. I'm He's invis invisible. I'm waiting to see what you do. Just kind of goes on a rampage, you know, just setting tents on fire with little minor spells. <laughs> okay. just, just like, throwing firebolts, bag, boof, bag, boof. Okay, she's bad. Yeah, you see this place is littered with dead bodies. It, it, uh, their bodies seem, that you don't see any piercing wounds or anything um there is not a scratch on them okay so um i well, start gathering Anna was alive i start grabbing corpses okay uh you and picked... dragging them I, I grab five decent corpses any of them that are just decent medium size okay and i'll bring them back to thena all right, you drag some Dana, bodies out. Wake up! And uh, so, so I, I've been I've been texting back and forth with I. She I've been trying to keep her up to date with it as best I can. Okay. But but um. But I, I'm gonna make it so she can bring five of these guys back to back as a servants for her. It's cool. We'll hang out in this place until she can. It'll okay. only take a minute. So it'll Unlike take... last time where we went gung ho. Yeah, so she, she's going to yeah. finally do that. If you see the character sheets, I've actually given them character sheets. Um. Oh, okay. Put them over here under monster. I just see bodies dragging. Actually, I'm under NPC. I'm like, Alexander, are you the one dragging the bodies? I reveal myself and like, my lady, your corpse is await. <laughs> The cadavers away. She's like, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my <laughs> Demon, light your own fire. <clears throat> God, <clears throat> fire. I had a little tickle on my throat there. Sorry about that. <clears throat> thank you. No. <laughs> uh, I think I got everybody scared. Okay, so, um, all right, so you do that. Uh, she's burning tents and doing her thing. Uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? Um, I'm still being completely um, confused about what the hell is going on. Yeah, I'm still not 100% sure either. I'm Londe mostly and, just... Okay. 
All right, so you guys are just are you guys outside of the city still? Like, have you it came in where the tents are? Oh or? no, I would I would have come into the city at least. Okay. Eventually. Yeah. What about you, coward? Eh. Eh. I I've heard about this place, and I was hoping I'd be able to make some coin here. I heard they like to party, so I'm mildly displeased. Yes, they. Uh, this is usually a great place to. I mean, this is like the third town now that you've come up buff. It's start, probably starting to piss you off. It pissed me off. Um, starting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already there. But uh, yeah, I don't know. You never know what you're gonna find. So, anyways, uh, so you guys are just kind of fumbling around. Um, every once in a while, you'll feel like a cold breeze whiff past you. And it sounds like a uh, like a, a, a shrieking whisper, like oh, I can't do the noise. <sighs> yeah, but it's whispery, kind of like it's just like faintly in the wind. I'm gonna check out the tower. Okay, well, it's not a tower; it's more of like a a one story, just large footprint building. But yeah, I'm gonna check can. the building then. Okay. Um, you can do that. Uh, you open the door, and um, I will move your character there. And uh, you are. I probably shouldn't have did that. No, delete. There you go. All right. There you go. All right. There you go. Okay. All right. Can you right. Uh, see? Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you are. You're inside the building. Okay, let me check. These uh, these whispering cold breezes seem to be everywhere in here. Uh, not not it's not like you know a crowded subway, but they're more you you hear them obviously because you're indoors and the sound is uh, reverberating off the walls. But also there seems to be you know a bunch of them in here just all over the place. So whatever they are. Am I, am I the only one here? You're the only one that said you're going inside, so. I'm going to show up inside, too. Okay. Like, I'm going to take a candle out of my backpack, light it with predestillation. Pre Just stick with me. I'm never going to pronounce that right. And I'm going to send the mage hand with it forward. Okay. You see uh, a hand grab a the candle and then pull it somewhere. And then there's just your mage hand without a candle or torch or whatever. Grabs and it. Emerson, pipe up. Like, careful, we might not be alone here, regardless of what we hear or do not see. Oh I'm, going to, I'm going to turn around and be like, Um, Alexander! <laughs> Bad shit! <laughs> I knew that would, do, that would scare the shit out of your character. As I as I as I as I'm help as I'm helping prepare the rich the ritual so she can summon her dad, like who in God's name why or oh my fucking god. Why would you call me you okay? What am I looking at? Alright. Is everybody I'm just gonna is everybody following? Yeah. yeah. Come in. I'll I'm I'll just forget why the hell happened by the collar of his shirt. Why did you call me? Possibly banshees? Can I make a religion check on, like, just the surrounding noise I'm hearing, too? Yeah, you guys can roll whatever, like, uh, arcana or religion or nature, whatever you want to roll, whatever you feel is appropriate. Uh, I'm a servant of Nerul. Yes, you are. That's true. Oh, you got do a seven, sense, but so. Do I still have that sensation? Uh, it's left when the voice left. Huh, okay. Hey, since my candle failed... Instead, I'm going to send out dancing lights. Okay. I'm, I'm going to send it on um, one. You, you have I, I don't know how to place dancing lights. Uh, it's something he's gonna have to do. So I'm gonna put one. He right, I had to get that thing. I'm putting one here, and one every twenty feet ahead of it in a straight line. I have a token for it. Um, each light can shed uh, light within a 10-foot radius. Yep. Oh, his. What kind of light is it? Um, 
dim, but it's still light. Okay, so it's still dim light. Okay, so I kind of as soon as the light comes up. Right. I actually put a hand up over my visor piece and. You realize it would just make it about as bright as outside, right? Yeah, the light oh. light here is not oh, as okay. awesome. The light okay, here so is dim. The light like... outside in the shadow realm is dim light. Oh, okay. So but I... in here, it's pitch black. So I ask, um, so, so I say, snuff out the lights, you fool. Why? As, as I have, not only do I have dark vision, but I have, like, devil sight. I can see through magical darkness up to 120 feet. I will see a thing. This is your uh, dancing lights token right there. You can move it as you see fit. Well, I kind of need, like, four of them. No. No, I'm just kidding. That's fine. <laughs> I uh, I forgot to put four of them out there, didn't I? Yeah. As long as I... As long as they stay within 20 feet of each other and 120 feet of me, I can have four of them. There you go. So, you should be able to control all of them. Okay, so I look at him. Where did you see the banshees? Um, I didn't really see. I can only control one of them. I didn't really see it, but I sent a candle forward with Mage Hand, and another hand came out of nowhere and grabbed it. And where did the candle go? Jared didn't say it; just disappeared. It, it was like some. It was almost like an invisible hand grabbed it and pulled it somewhere, out of anywhere you could see. Uh, so, so by the way, I do have dark vision up to 120 feet. Okay. So that's how I've uh, placed the lights. Do do do. So and that and that's um, kind of works like dark vision, except just basically doubles almost. There, you should see significant difference. Oh yeah. So I'm just kind of <sighs> looking around. Unless you don't want me to move. You guys do whatever you want. You just uh, yeah, I'll tell I... you what you see uh, in this room. It looks like uh, it was once a, a the the main tavern room, and all these were little little tables that people sat at. Uh, they seem to be scooted around in various orders and uh, in order. Sorry, and uh, there seem to be like three dead bodies again. No no like poke wounds or anything. Uh, by the way, no, I don't. Oh uh, yeah, nobody rolled good enough. That's why. Okay, yeah, so. <laughs> Moving on. What? Not old, good enough for what? To know what the hell's going on. That was the yeah. the roles I told you guys you could make, but um, all right. with the knowledge. But all right, so yeah, uh, it looks like all the ale and stuff has been left intact, so you can loot it for all of its ale if you wish. It's kind of, uh, it's not gathered any dust or cobwebs, so this looks. And just by looking at the bodies, you can tell this has been fairly recent. Um. Uh, you I'm guys just can start my bodies. See if there's anything useful. Or any wounds. Okay, so um, I'm going to try and keep up with you guys as best as I can. This room is a uh, the that looks like a behind the stage kind of thing, <laughs> like a, a room where you would powder your face or whatever for an act, like a bard's uh, um, room before the bard went on the act. You would probably uh, you know rest here whenever he stayed. Um, and uh, it was a special room designed for the performers. Uh, and it went into another room that had a bed and stuff. And you could write down things and ideas. So it was these two rooms that your anim uh, emotion are designed for those. Um, Alexander. Uh, it, oh, go ahead. Sure. I was going to say, I am going to, ca uh, I'm going to cast Dancing Lights as well. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh, there's keep... so many dancing lights. All right. <laughs> I keep kind of hissing at the lights. Like... Well, I, I, you guys, I have dancing lights being controlled by everybody just because I don't know who all can cast a spell. So, uh, <laughs> like, good luck keeping track of who's who. Hey, um, is this a fireplace? Um, no, this wall actually was broken into. Do what now? Oh, hey, I hey. do that. Yeah, the power came back on finally. Nice. 
Okay, um, so, uh, so everybody's dead except for you. What are you doing? <laughs> you rage is not dead. Yeah, you're surrounded by 1,300 orcs. Uh, everybody's dead, and all yeah, you have is a dagger. What are you doing? And you're out of spells. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Anyways. Um, what? No. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not even close. Uh, you guys entered into the city. You guys made it all the way up to... Um, to uh, um, uh, Drage, and um, it's basically a city with one building in the center, and then people can camp around it, and you know people come and go and make camping around this building. And this building's kind of like a tower that performs entertainment, better beds for those who were willing to pay, and uh, etc. It, it's like a tavern. It's like a a, a tavern. Um, and um, you guys, uh, something happened to. Um, Emotion where she shot a lightning bolt in the air. Nobody knows what's happened. I don't think she's told anybody what's happened. And um, um, and something Alex, scary happened to me, and I darn near shit my pants. Yeah, which is nice. probably typical for him. Um, <laughs> and um, you, it's about uh, typical for you. I won't deny that. And Alexander has brought you some bodies, and you have uh, some undead. And um, oh, you're and probably then, still outside. And then, yeah, and then uh, Varlis has uh, summoned you guys inside, and you guys all went inside, and now that you are here, you are also inside. There you go. Well, she can still be outside with the bodies. Oh, well, that's up to you, wherever you want to be. I'm um, sure that my undead can take care of themselves. I'm going to go that. inside. Oh, and also, right. Immersion went, went crazy and started just, like, destroying tents and bodies and stuff when she, after she shot her lightning bolt. Um, no. but that, I think you're caught up now. Awesome. Say nothing. <laughs> yeah. I needed those bodies. It would be a real shit if whatever's in here is actually targeting me. Yeah, oh, <laughs> oh, the other thing, the most important thing is none of these bodies have cuts on them. They have no cut wounds. They're obviously dead. None of them have any marks or anything on them um, that indicate that they were stabbed or, you know, anything killed them. Um, oh, screw that. I totally so know it's either it's poison bad. or something else. You, you don't know. Um, well, she could roll a religion or an arcana check to figure it out. Yes, you can. I could roll one of those. Hold um, up. And also, there oh, seem wait, to wait. be these like uh, these these whisper these whispering things that you can't see that pass by you every once in a while that give you like the cold chills. Oh wait, if we have it, we can do the roll. I have no clue. Yes, if you, have it, you can do the roll. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I feel as well. <laughs> yes. Why you try religion? Makes sense you wouldn't know what these are, though. Um, uh, try religion? I guess I'll try a religion. Because religion with me is the exact same. <laughs> yeah, you have drag of all trades. Toop toop. Coke. Wow, uh, you guys are rolling yep. shitty today. This no, is why I roll outside of roll 20. Still don't know what it is. Oh, emotion. There you go. Um, you know these. Um, what, what is it? Religion that you rolled? Um... It is said in the religious text that you you read of the relig of um, we'll just say of one of the deities that your the dragon created um, that um, there are these spirits that uh, if they're killed in a particular way can be manipulated uh, unlike necromancy where they're controlled these are uh, when you kill the victim their spirit automatically becomes your slave but the good thing about them is they, they reside within the ethereal plane. So you, can, you basically have control over a ghost. Um, there they are called thing? Shadow Sentinels. Uh, my, own, my own creation. I was wondering if there's any more info to these since I rolled Nat 20. Oh, uh, you know that uh, they... Well, okay, so I did, already said they reside within the ethereal plane. They, um, they, they're just like ghosts the, well, the story you hear about ghosts nowadays where they can still manipulate things in the material plane. And um, they are said to hate light and they love the shadow. So the shadow realm is the perfect place for them. The question is, the undead? Oh. That is why when you put out your dancing lights and stuff, they just they go get, get away from it. And that's why he snuffed out your candle when you had it, because they don't want it. They don't like lights. Asshole. I don't want to be well, nice. They, to all give me back my candle. Of course, this is uh, assuming that they share this information with everybody. Otherwise, they are the only two that would know it. Are these guys aggressive? 
uh, they you it's you um, it depends. Like some of them are brought for a purpose. Whatever they were brought here to do, they will do. Now, what that purpose is, you don't know. Oh, the other thing is, is they they can feed off of the souls of the of the dead. So, oh, so they are that's dead. why all these people like are dead because they've essentially just sucked out their essence, and they just die. <laughs> All right, so like Alexander walks alone through the darkness. Like it could be the blackest blackness, and he just walks around confidently. Okay, Alex hmm. Alexander, stay there for a second. We'll get to that room. Oh, the room you were in is um, just more tables uh, that uh, are. And, and I lied. This actually is a very large fireplace. Um, and um, really, hmm, why? What? What? Is it a fireplace? Uh. Now that I look at it, yes, it is a fireplace. Sorry, why? What 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 does that do for you? It's not points light. my hand, snaps. Yeah, exactly. Points in my hand, snaps my fingers, and lights it. Okay. Well, first of all, there's no wood in it. Oh, I'm sorry. I see clutter on the floor, so I. Yeah. No. I well, the, I'm limited to what the map gives me. Unfortunately, I can't draw my own maps because I suck at it. So. That's okay. Uh, but no, there's does anyone no wood. have wood? <laughs> but the walls seem to be made out of wood, so you can uh, be creative if you wish. Um, <laughs> but uh, the room that you're in, Alexander, um, these are just uh, like it's like a resting place where people can chat and talk and gamble and play. You know, just a, a social room with tables. Those are supposed to be tables. Um, but then when you walk in this room, it seems to be some. Oh, don't, I don't want to move your character. But the room that you're looking into. It seems to be some sort of a, uh, a temple or worship uh, cathedral or sanctuary of some sort for those that are traveling that wish to pay homage to their deity. Um, the rest of you guys, so I explain those rooms. Um, this is just a long, narrow hallway that at the end leads to another room. This other room looks like it is like a... Whoa. Oh, crap. Um, looks like it's it's a room designed for uh, multiple people to sleep in at once. Uh, you mainly for like large parties who uh, wish to sleep in the same room or whatever. Um, but uh, all the beds are stacked here, um, and these uh, and it's you kind of get like a front row seat to the stage. It is it's also kind of like the lux the luxury suite because you get the front row view of the stage. And by the way, all of you people over here can see the stage uh, as well. I know it's a it's a bad placement, but anyway, so I think that's all the rooms you guys can see into. Uh, these are all chests. They are all open and they are all empty that you see. Ah. Whew. All right. Goddamn dog it. Yeah, Hold somebody, on. Somebody stop torturing that dog, poor dog. <laughs> so, Talandai and Talandai. Yeah, Talandai. <laughs> you know, me and him may not see eye to eye, but I at least know his name. Yeah. I'm trying. I can barely pronounce my own spells. Press <laughs> yeah. the digitation. Yay! Um, okay. Press to digitate. So, what, what do you want to ask me? So, anyone here know what the heck that might have been? I nod and say, look like a shadow sentinel. As for a purpose, I'm not sure. As soon as it says shadow sentinel, do I know that's like some kind of undead? I know we should stop creeping up on me. Kind of weird me out. You already though. rolled the knowledge. Just roll me a strip and uh, wisdom to see if you can like remember something. It's uh, it's gonna be a hard DC, so we'll see. But. Okay, hold on. My computer's lagging really bad. So don't move. I was going to move in. Just Jared told me to stop moving. You guys with your storms and your problems. Ugh. Well, no, this computer just sucks. No. We on the East Coast know how. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. Um, yeah, the, the name sounds familiar. They, uh, you know, you know uh, about half of the information I told them. You know that they, they can be manipulated by some means. You don't necessarily are they know un how. Are they undead? Is that all? Is, do I know that oh, much? They are most certainly undead. Okay, so then I, I carry in without any fear. You are afraid. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so, yeah, you, this 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 uh, place, it seems like it's been desecrated. On the floor here, you see the uh, 
the the any there's like uh on the front wall there uh this entire wall here um is like almost every symbol of every deity um all of them have been etched out and crossed out and um and you know spit upon and and just like desecrated and then in this middle is just like a uh, a shrine where you can uh, of like their black blackish water where you can donate whatever and um, it is empty, it's dry, except for this little puddle of black ooze that doesn't look like water, but it seems to like, every once in a while, bubble. Bloop, bloop. So they're All of these chairs they're... right here have been destroyed, by the way. They're like, you cannot sit in any of these pews. But, by the way. Can you check for a black boop? All right, it's, uh, um, it is definitely moving towards you. Yeah. Little point of interest for the people in the room right now. You are currently in the dark. Oh, yeah. And yes, I'm sure currently. Alexander and Emily you know, are completely comfortable. Where the shadow sentinels are. <laughs> yeah. I'm completely yes. comfortable. I, I have no fear whatsoever. Like, undead shadow sentinels? I'm not afraid. I kind of call up ahead. Be careful. We don't know if they're hostile or not. Of course they're not hostile. At least not to me. I say, as I kind of move up this way to check out. So, is there any other religious symbol that's been placed up in its in their um, place, or is it just? I take that. I can't read through my notes. I, I apologize. Uh, there is one of the uh, deity symbols that is not scratched out, is and that is new rules of death. Hi. Um, and you actually, when you death. walk into this room, you feel it. Uh, you feel a presence. Um, uh, Alexander and Emotion both feel this. Um, it's any, well, it's hard not to feel it. It's just an overwhelming sense of evil. Um, so I continue forward unfazed. And you hear whispers <laughs> in both, uh, throughout the room. They, they come from all corners of the room. They don't seem to be near you, but they seem to be surrounding you in a circular motion. And they just to be, they seem, to, they're just saying, death. Death, death, hate, 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 and death, and they're just and the, and these so whispers are just echoing through the room, and they continue to circle around you. So, so I go to the symbol in the rule, and I do whatever praise a tribute I can to it. All right, I believe it is you ejaculate all over it. I believe that's the <laughs> standard. Yeah, I take some of the ash or wipe some of the blood from my sword and. Oh, that'll work too. It's either or, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so you you see him do the alternative method of of worshiping your own, and you say your your um your prayers or whatever you want to do. Uh, I th okay, good. Thank thee for giving me the strength to complete my quest. And, and I, I do make it sound like it's already happened, like my quest is already complete. Hmm. You uh um, you see the black ooze. Damn it, why is everything you gotta pay for that looks good? Um is no, I, um creeping its way towards you now. And I and I look at the creature. Well come forward, creature. I am a servant of death. You may speak to me. I have returned. Welcome back. And I say it just like that. The creature can cool. speak to me if it wishes. No, it doesn't seem to want to speak, it seems to want to climb on you. Uh, here's a picture of it. Hey. Oh, Ew, what? what the fuck is that? is that? Is that what I understand to be the Shadow Sentinel? No, this oh, is God. the goo that was in the middle of the, uh, like, this This circle right here is actually, like, a big, like, it holds water, like you would see, like, in a Catholic church, church where they have the holy water, but much bigger, like a fountain almost. And right. it's just, all the water's been drained except for this little puddle that's in around. And it's plopping I, around out, and it plops, I, and it tries to Can I make a guess that whatever this thing is? Yeah, can we go all check to see what it is? Uh, Arcana Religion. Well, whatever it is, I'm probably going to ruin it today. Well, while they're rolling, and we'll get back to you guys. No, can I use an action point to, um... You most certainly can. Alright. Yeah, I just ahead. want to know what the hell this is. Just remind me. We'll when I get back to you, tell me you're going to use your action point then. Oh, and okay. by the way, you guys would know what these things look like, with those of you who rolled 
the good rolls, they look like this. These are the shadow. This is what the shadow sentinels look like. Oh, that's oh. fucking cool. Oh. Wait a minute, is that from Ben 10? Yes. I have no, no idea. I typed in Shadow that's Sentinel, from, uh, and that's one of the pictures that's I got. That's from X-Men like, Days of Future. No, X-Men Days of Future's Past. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, they, yeah. they are You're the actual, right. They are it the just actual. happens to look like that weird movie from Ben 10 with all the bug things that Those make a human body. bastards copied off of me? No. <laughs> I totally <laughs> copied off of them. All right, so you, uh, you make your way on stage, and the stage is enormous, and it is huge, and like, okay, so this, these two rooms here have a very low roof. Uh, we're talking about five foot, you like hit the duck. Um, and uh, so this stage actually is taller than the, than the roof, and uh, on top of the roof of these rooms are actually places you can sit, and there's stairs that go up to the top of these roofs where you can sit. And then so everybody in this, this entire hallway that is lit up, uh, and the people in this room can see what's on the stage. Um, and you're on the stage and you, you, there's a little pot on the ground where you would normally leave tips or whatever. And um, there are, there's, a, there's like this makeshift uh, piano. It's not as glorious as any piano you would see anywhere else in like say for the realm of light, for instance, but it does its job. Um, and it's sitting right over here in the corner and there is also some sort of stringed instrument. It looks, the, the best way to describe it would be a harp. Um, but it's very bendy and it doesn't look very pretty to the eye. So there are instruments here for people to play. And um, that's pretty much it. The, uh, it just looks like a stage. Um, and I already described this room. So, yeah. Oh, back to right the... now. I'm. Oh, go ahead. I'm using my action to move the lights around because I haven't heard from uh, the others. Went into this really dark room, and me being the coward I am, of course, am putting lights into the dark room. So, <laughs> I, I, I... Talande, uh, or no, you're. Oh, okay. Never mind. She says, uh, "Varless, why not get on stage and play a song for these spirits? Perhaps you can appease them." Mighty Bard, and she will uh, actually say the same thing to you, Talande, since you are a bard. She's kind of talking to both of you guys, we'll say. Uh, Ooh, this is a perfect so? time to do that thing I want to do. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. might, might, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, where's really anybody the, here to experience what part it. is the stage? Uh, the part that Tal Talande is in. Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, remember, these I rooms here are, are low. They're like... So the stage is like very high. The stage is the tallest structure in the room. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm going to take out my lute and I'm going to play the harmony of the bronze dragon. Ooh. Okay, roll me a performance. I know what happens, but uh, let's see how well it happens. Yeah, I'm. It's I, a very I hard song to play. Write. Huh? I made you write it. <laughs> Yes. So. Okay, so... 19. Okay, well, we'll get to that in a second. Because we're going to move back to emotion. Uh, uh, Thana, did you want to do anything? Ice? Actually, Jared, Ice? With thought. Did you want to do anything? Um, uh, let's hold, see. Hold that thought. Uh, okay. Not you. Uh, not you, Ice, but I was telling him. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. Sorry. What were we going to do, Ice? Um, well, it looks like people have explored this room, and they're over there playing with instruments like children. You hear a voice, uh, it's gonna kind of give it away, but I need to know, Nero is a female god, right? It's a goddess, not a god, or is he it a god? Is he a he's a god. god. Okay. Like he is the, he is the god... He is no, the god of death I know murder. he's the god of death. I know a symbol, but I just for whatever father reason. Father of winter, and his wife was Nara. So yes, he is. Okay. His question is: Does he have a penis? That is uh, it. Uh, he does Paul indeed Frank have a penis. Is okay, mummified. good. No. It's mummified, but yes, it, it does okay. exist. Um, so uh, you hear a <laughs> voice in your in uh, in your head, Thana. And, unless you wish to resist it, you can accept it. Um, I'll accept it. Um, it says. A blood sacrifice is required, servant. Oh, hell yeah. Go now. 
make your offering. And that's all you hear. Mm. Mm. And also, don't forget to f wash your hands before you leave. <laughs> that's disgusting. Yep. It's literally disgusting. Right. I mean, you're carrying all those germs around. Nobody wants that shit on their hands. Oh, sorry. No, he doesn't say it. Anyways, um, so, um, <laughs> um, He's like a dad. The entire time, yeah. the god of death has been a germaphobe. <laughs> don't forget to brush your teeth. I don't fear I don't anything. Seriously, do you know how many germs you carry yeah. in your mouth? Yeah, I don't fear anything. Brush your teeth. Oh, but germs, don't, don't you know <sighs> you can die from gingivitis? <laughs> it's gonna make your teeth disgusting. But anyways, um, so back in the Look both uh, ways when you cross the roads. Actually, no, I don't fear cars. I don't fear death. Germs, on the other hand. Ew! Um, but uh, back here in the in the temple, uh, quote-unquote temple, um, this ooze is hey, trying to get uh, on. Hey, guys, hold on a minute. Something's wrong. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Everything's getting freaking fucked up right now. Well, yeah, it is the Shadow Realm. It's not... I wish I could say it's going to get better. <laughs> I wish I could be a nice guy. I yeah. really do. Wish I could be optimistic. Well, anyway, so I did use an action point to just identify what the hell this is. Okay, so this is um, this is a... They, there's black ooze and then there's living black ooze. Uh, black, living black ooze is essentially a black ooze that has been possessed by a spirit. There's a lot of possession going on. Um, now, the question is... Is it technically undead? Um, it is technically an ooze with a spirit. It's it's an intelligent this, ooze. Let's put it that way. Is the spirit undead? Uh, well, technically, ooze is uh, not undead. Okay. Like if you impress, but, if you possess but, a living but, person, but, that person's but, not undead, but, right? But, but yes. Now that's not the point. Mm -hmm. Is the spirit controlling it? Uh, the okay. the is it a ghost? Well, is it, it a I never like said that? it doesn't necessarily have to be. Okay, well, okay, well, you, you you're using an action point, so we're gonna say that uh, yes, there is a spirit it, uh, that is controlling it, but the spirit itself may be controlled by somebody else or something else. So so it's, so it doesn't mean this thing's undead. Does not mean this is undead. Correct. All right. So I just as soon as I realized this, I. I literally just pulled the handle off my back as a sword forms mid swing, and I cut this thing in. I cut this thing in two. I'll Does this count as a blood sacrifice? No, uh, unfortunately, it's an ooze, not a blood. It's not his blood. Fuck. There may be a blood okay. sacrifice if this thing gets an attack. Um, okay, uh, let me get to my. Sorry, I got too many things open here. My uncle was in a car accident. Oh shit, dude! Is he all do, right? do you need? Do you need he, okay? Well, not so much a car accident. He um, he was riding uh, a motorcycle down to Myrtle Beach, and oh. a truck hauling furniture. A mattress fell off of the truck, and it hit him. And right now, he's in intensive care. Do you got? Do you need do, to go? Do you need to go, dude? Yeah, go. No, go. that's that's like three states over. Oh, oh man. That, but oh, he has God. six so broken sad. ribs and a punctured lung. Oh, oh fuck. Well, well, fuck today. Thoughts, today man. sucks. Yeah, there's a today lot of is a bitch. shit going on, man. All right, well, let's keep well, playing. Keep, in, keep in your thoughts. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I'll, I'll... All right, let's just keep going and pretend nothing happened. Well, that's something. We'll keep you distracted, buddy. Yeah, we'll, right. we'll, we'll keep you distracted. Um, damn, that sucks. Um... So, uh, okay, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, you hit it. Um, oh, Wait, it what happened? Standing. I was away talking about bad crap. Um, uh, I slinked the thing, and it was fucking hilarious. Wait, no, I, I, I can see it. Let me... Okay, let's see. Bard. Well, I just started making... <laughs> <laughs> I just started making fun of a goblin and it exploded. It's the weirdest crap, I swear. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry to interrupt your quite wonderful uh, campaign, Jared, but I thought it would be something good to make Plasmus laugh. I thought it would be good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's 
That's amazing. So pretty much, if you ask freaking, if you ask Thana how she got her magic, she's like, oh, I constantly studied. But if you ask those two numbskulls over there, they're like, oh, I just made fun of a goblin one day and it exploded. It's the weirdest shit I ever saw. You know, (laughs) rock music causing lightning storms. That's us. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Um, okay, so yes, continue. I'm um, so sorry. No, you're fine. Um, so uh, you hit it. You do not destroy it, though. You c- take cut it, and it just kind of like splits a little bit and <laughs> plops back together. Like you hurt his feelings, dude. Why would you yeah, do it's that? Yeah, crying out of its eye. It's like, why would you do that? Why didn't you hit me? Mm-hmm. Stupid people! It's a slime! Hit it with elements! No. Alright, since you two are the only one in this... I'm not going to roll initiatives, but you guys are currently... Unless Emotion wants to do something, you guys are the two current ones in initiative. Um, and I'll resolve this quickly. This isn't going to last long, I have a feeling. Uh, he misses. Uh, he tries to give you a hug, and you just move your leg out of the way, and it <laughs> falls on the ground. <laughs> splats a little bit. Unless the power of music captivates his soul. Um, right, so do, do I get a feeling that the morning star didn't do, or uh, that the blade didn't do as much as I would like it to have? No, it definitely cut like, uh, like you know, there's there's so much of this ooze when you cut it. There's that much less ooze. There's 14 hit points less of that much ooze on it, so it's that much smaller. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out like what a yeah, different. I feel like if you kept that. whacking at this thing, you'd eventually run, he'd run out of ooze and dis- disappear. But um. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be a dick. I'm gonna be a dick and move on to the other group now. Um, oh! <laughs> so you guys are on stage, and um, this is kind of happening at the same time. So, um, what do you guys want to do? Those of you on stage, and uh, the rest of you that are not up there in that room. I'm gonna go look for for Alexander wherever the fuck he wandered off to. Yeah, he's pretty loud. Oh. You hear him. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alexander is loud. He thumps everywhere he goes. He's like that one person that you're like, okay guys, we need to be quiet. Funk! Right. Funk! I'm gonna sneak. Oh crap, I tripped over this tray. Oh, there's so much noise. Oh, why is there so much silverware on this tray? It's, oh, it's so loud. I'll just sit there and stare like really. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go find that motherfucker and say I need a blood sacrifice. Exactly. We need to go find something to kill, like right now, <laughs> like right now, right now, like like right now, right now, right now. We'll probably make it. There. You could try so sacrificing gonna... El Slimo. El Slimo. It's not necessarily a blood sacrifice though. That's like a slime it's sacrifice. Slime that blood. Doesn't count. <laughs> it's slimy blood. No. We need a child. We're going to go find a child. I'm just oh. kidding. I'm just kidding. We're not going to go get a child. But Telly, like, sits on her back legs uh, with her, her front legs straight as to, to watch the show. Even though all the shit's going on, she seems to be able <laughs> to, uh, to do whatever it is that she's doing. So what are you guys doing, the two on stage? Well, the... I gotta be honest, depending on Natalie's past, she might know what song I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Yeah, your performance. Uh, did you roll it? 19? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so as all twenty one, if you want to give me advantage, if Talandai wants to help, <laughs> does Talandai want to sure, help? Sure, I'll help. This is an extremely hard awesome. song. Yeah, you know what? I'll help out. I'm good at uh, songs. Twenty one to play the uh, Crimson Dragon song. <laughs> Not Crimson. <laughs> Cop. Bron. Whatever color I said earlier. Well, you have that advantage, thing. which gave him twenty one. Okay. Um, this is my favorite song to play in my campaigns. We start playing this song. Um, oh, right. The allude to the Bronze about. Dragon. Uh, no, I'm just playing. That's not the actual song. I'm just playing something to represent a song. Uh, nobody, those of you listening can't hear it because copyright reasons. Um, copyright! Yeah, final copyright. But, uh, you guys start, uh, uh, you guys can adjust your volume if you want here. But anyways, um, you start playing this song and once you guys start playing it, it's like your hands are no longer controlled by you. Uh, it, and uh, you just start, you know, once you know it, you know it, I guess, kind of thing. And, and you start playing the song. 
and it's like super like uh charming i guess um and the room starts changing um, well it is the song of the dragon of love so you guys out out of your loot and what are you what's your instrument uh uh Talande? i am also playing a actually no am i playing loot let me check well there's all That's... sorts of instruments around take your pick <laughs> oh true uh you know what if he's playing the loot i'll be playing the flute along with him the uh moonshine bottle <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. Okay, so I'm sorry. <laughs> My stupid joke. Uh, I interrupted what you were saying. What What were you playing? Uh, the flute. The flute. Okay, so your flute. It almost like it starts. It's almost like you're playing this like a uh, dragon scaled snake, and it starts shooting like we've all seen Harry Potter, where they they have their uh, little white glowy <laughs> thing that is their way of getting rid of the wraiths. So, like you have. These like right. yeah whatever your patron your patronus charm yeah um and uh, of light just shooting out uh but they they both look like dragons uh and and Yar Yaris your your um or Varlas your uh, loot kind of takes the shape of a dragon uh it still feels like a loot in your hands it just uh, the illusion of it looks like a dragon and then it spits out this dragon and they start swirling around you guys and just pretty much taking over the room um you guys hear screams from these these uh night these these things in the night as they uh they scream and it's almost like they scatter and um the music kind of overtakes you everybody give me a will save including the uh, uh, people playing? playing as the 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 room around you starts turning Such into whatever your character pictures as paradise uh it could be a, a, a running waterfall or <laughs> Or a, um, I keep doing this with my hands. Ale Alexander um, is a very stubborn motherfucker. <laughs> Alexander okay, doesn't so like music. You see uh, a p pile of dead bodies all over the place. I don't know, whatever it is you like to see, you see it. And, uh, what save? Huh? Wisdom. Wisdom save. What save? Wisdom? Yeah, if you want to resist. Wait, also, do the people playing have to do it too? No, the people playing it can uh, don't have to make the save. No, uh, you can yeah, uh, right. choose to see actually, it, uh, but uh, I don't see why you wouldn't want to see it. I, I don't. Yeah, I do want to see it. All things considered, um, since it's coming from my loot, the only person who shouldn't have to make the roll is me. Okay, that's true. He's assisting you, so yes, uh, Talandre would will have to make the roll as well. Sorry, that is you uh, are one hundred percent correct, and it is also your special ability, so yeah. you should not get it. Uh, so this is a sense of love, yeah? Uh, it is a sense of whatever he wants it to be. You tell me. Well, it's the Bronze Dragon songs, and the Bronze Dragon is the Dragon of Love, so yeah, it would be oh, love. Oh, oh, yeah. Sounds like a contradict of hate. <laughs> Here's, uh, yes. Oh, so, no. then we'll get to that. So oh, actually, no. you guys see... Oh, no. For the if first it makes you time, feel better, on, this is gonna be if great. you can find me the song of... <laughs> If you guys can find me the song of death, I can play that too. Um, uh, so, yeah, it's like Zelda with with your little uh, <laughs> ocarina. You know, learn the song and then push the correct or the corresponding wind. buttons to make it rain or whatever. No. Um, <laughs> you, uh, yeah. But um, you actually, you guys, for the first times in any of your lives, except for <laughs> some people, maybe. Uh, see green grass and 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 uh, maybe an ocean. So I apologize for everything I just said. I, I forgot a, an important detail about uh, the song, <laughs> um, and that's my bad. Uh, you guys see um, green grass and plains, and you see uh, blue waterfalls, and uh, you know you actually see a sunrise, and you see a unicorn running through the field, and maybe even a rainbow, whatever. You see all of these beautiful things that have never, you've never seen, not even in your dreams, just start taking shape on the floor and all around you, and all it doesn't even seem like you're in a building anymore. It seems like you're in this glorious field or canyon. And um, you hear uh, this, this beautiful, beautiful voice singing um, a lullaby and then we or all realize that's and Then we all realize that's me. <laughs> yeah, um, it's almost like that. You don't hear the lute or the flute playing anymore. You just hear this beautiful voice singing, but it's coming from the lute. And um, this this uh, voice, as you hear it, it you, you see this beautiful woman come up to each of you, 
um, and just kind of like oh, rub the back of her hand on your cheek and smile. And uh, that's when the will save occurs. And um, uh, you guys all did pretty well, except for emotion. Um, and those who didn't want to, you know, deny it. <laughs> yeah, uh, this right. this is a this is a very powerful song. You, there's no doubt about that. Um, well, did, did Alexander succeed it? Well, it's it's a succeed if you want to. If you don't want to, if you want to see the beautiful vision, don't roll. No, no, no. no, no. As soon as My he sees the sunlight, he's like, no. ah! If you yeah! if you want to resist the vision, you you roll. I did. If you if you I want, don't want if to you resist. want to see the vision, then don't. Yeah, don't. Okay, so, so basically everyone but Alexander doesn't. Yeah. All right, so, um, so, uh, but e emotion like this, 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 uh, so you're, are you trying to re resist this, uh, emotion? Mm -hmm. Okay, so well, you try and you can't, um, and this, as her, the back of her hand touches you, you see her hand starting to burn because of this feeling you've never really kind of felt before is starting to overcome you, and it's conflicting. Mm -hmm. And it and it burns, uh, it, it burns you a little bit, but it seems to burn the mm -hmm. hand of this person putting their back of her hand, or the back of her fingers on your face more, and and, and this this, I'm just going to tell you right now, it looks like a nymph, uh, a very beautiful nymph. As she pulls her hands away, and uh, she looks at you, and steps away in this kind of like worried look, and uh, continues to sing. And she puts her hand, like she before. rubs her uh -huh. hand off on whatever clothes that she has, which isn't much. Um, and uh, continues to sing. And the rest of you guys see this vision. Um, well, everybody sees it because I don't think anybody passed except for Alexander. Alexander, you, you don't see anything. Um, and Varlis is just watching everyone being weird. <laughs> yeah, and all, so this is all happening. So anyways, um, back to the other guys in the other room. So this music's going on. This thing... I feel like it should get away. I'll be right back. Um, yeah, you make the slime make a wisdom This tape. thing starts... Uh, well, actually, here's... Uh, you would see this emotion, but you will not, Alexander. You see this nymph smile, and she starts singing, like, and, and uh, moving her hands in front of this little black ooze, and it starts shaping into, like, different things, like a heart, and then, um, <laughs> and then like, it, she'll, like, shape an arrow that goes through it, and, uh... And then she'll shape it into like a cupid or something, and and it looks like she's having fun with it while this thing is suffering. Uh, it seems to be going, and you you will see the shapes that's going into Alexandria. You have no idea. You think it's just reacting to the music somehow. Um, All right, so I'm just I'm just gonna execute it here then. Okay. <laughs> she probably would have advantage in that thought process. No! 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 Remember, uh, you do not have to ask me. Just tell me what you're doing. You don't. You never have to ask me. Can I? Just do it. <laughs> Let's drop a fireball on the nymph. Oh, you can't like... do that. You should have asked. No, I'm just oh. kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, 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 God! All right. On What's the who's or on the problem? nymph? What were you throwing this fireball? Uh, wherever the nymph. Is. Oh, you wanted to, you, You're hitting the nymph. Okay. Go ahead. You're okay, going to try to hit the thing that's caused by a. Well, you do believe it's real. It, oh, well, yeah, because I, mean, I felt... Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, well, you, you, it's up to you what you think your character would believe. It's not up to me, so... Um, uh, is there... Can you roll the spell? I don't I don't know if I... Do I make a DC? I assume I make a, a reflex or something? Uh, actually, yeah, I'll just... I'll, I'm going to shove a lightning bolt at her, not a fireball. All right, so basically... Basically, roll a deck save. Holy shit. Holy... Oh, is that the thing, thing from I your have an 18 uh... on the dice? Um, so I okay, so you this this uh, <laughs> lightning bolt, damn, 34. What's, that's your, char what's your charisma there, Ray? Excuse me. Three high. It's one of my higher ones. So no, the dex but... makes sense, but the how many d's? That was she just she rolled really good on the dice. Oh, you get eight d6. Yeah, my charisma is just 18, dude. So four plus three. It's 15. Her deck, the deck saves right. I don't know, I feel like it should be higher, but... It's, it's 8 plus your your dex uh, charisma modifier. Right, so... Uh, with I just went to my spellbook and hit roll 
on the, the um, hole. Holy crap! All right, so um, you you hit this lightning and it it, it dances around her, and um, it definitely like you see for the first time your lightning bolt take the shape of like a dragon's mouth and it tries to bite this nymph, and this nymph is is uh, it tries to counter it um, with with a similar dragon mouth and they you see this the battle of like little mini dragon mouths there's not not Mind a dragon, little something. dragon mouths kind of crucial sure alexander's standing right in front of the mission yeah you he don't see any of this because you resisted the will save you you see emotion doing this but and everything i described that her weapon's doing you see it's fighting with something but it looks invisible to you so so oh so she cast a lightning bolt but not in the real world no, she did, but and her lightning bolt is fighting something that you don't see. So I see the lightning bolt like an inch in front of me. Ah! Yeah, it doesn't look like a normal lightning bolt. It it, it seems to have taken on the characteristic of a dragon uh, mouth, just the face and what? mouth, uh, which I'm is sorry, new like to everybody who's playing. seen this. Now, this is looking really scary to you, in other uh, words. Yeah, you you even you emotion have never seen this lightning bolt do this. Um, Would this I... cause me to freak out and stop playing? Uh, you feel. Um, like something is trying to stop you from playing. Um, it's almost like you're, think of it as you're in a rock concert and the crowd's so loud you're trying to play over them and, and they have to hear you in order for that to work, kind of. Like, you're being overpowered. There's a conflict. Um, but you don't need to roll anything, because um, what's, what's, what's happening is it's just basically a stalemate. Um, eventually, since... Uh, the 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 dragon um, um, Pythos is from this realm. Uh, it's eventually going to win, and the song is going to stop. Uh. But your your music put up a great fight, um, <laughs> and uh, let's just say emotion. You are filled with a very loathing Jeez. hate towards anyone who is in love or just expresses love, and you you just. Ugh, just Pisses you off. She's, she's gonna just um, walk around everyone and see who's smiling like a grinning idiot. Who's smiling like a grinning idiot? Come on, tell. Who oh. dares question me? But you guys no longer feel the presence of any of these little whispering shadow thingies. They seem to have all been. So, so I, I, I'm allowed to like execute this thing, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's no longer fighting. It's it. Well, during the song, it, it couldn't fight. It was just turning shapes. You could have sliced at it all you wanted. Uh, and killed it. Uh, it wasn't meant to be a challenge at all. It was just there for flair. Uh, you destroy it, and it uh, eventually just dissipates. And the eyeball, you just see this eye roll rolling in a circle on the ground. I grab the eye and I keep it. Okay. Uh, you have an eyeball. Never know when I <laughs> when I have a could use that. So I'm, gonna I'm go still fight. looking for Alexander. By the way. But, yeah, oh, yeah, but... yeah. <laughs> There's so much yeah. shit going on. You would have you would have walked in during all of this. I I apologize. Um, but hey, Zana, what did you thing. see? Aww. Yeah, but saw. didn't but then Thana also get affected by the spell? Yes, so yes. she would have seen actually what happened, and she actually could see through the door anyways. So she would have been able to see it anyways. So, so um, um I w I will have approached Thana like, <sighs> what was that about? Did I miss something? This is this is what happens when I try to do nice things. <laughs> She just very slowly and quietly shrugs, like, it was, for once, it wasn't me. I don't know if that's better or worse, but for once, it wasn't me. About that, All right. about that blood sacrifice. <laughs> and she'll kind of hesitantly, like, after looking around, making sure that all that shit's said and done, she'll speak up and say, we need to find a blood sacrifice. Yeah, there's like a, um... There's like a huge gaping hole here in the ground from, uh, wow, well, that's very thick. Uh, from like the the battle. Okay. That's uh, nice. The class of lightning. So, so I'm just gonna like escort Thane out. Like, okay, let's go now before that drow gets any more insane. I need mm. your blood sacrifice. Take out your dagger, cut your wrist. Oh. Put it on my symbol. So you see, you oh, okay. Stop oh, moving. Like, she'll oh, quit moving for two seconds. To this voice. Uh, like, while he's walking with her, she'll just suddenly halt 
pull her dagger out without even thinking and slice her wrist and then just t- touch it to her chest. Like, I don't even... Uh, you know to put it against <laughs> the these symbols. have stopped giving. All right, right, so I do... So you know I, do I have a symbol out. literally... Oh, okay, that'll work. I have the symbol in my chest. Um, I have the symbol burned into my chest. That works, too. All right, you but see the also, blood, uh, like, fills in all the cracks and outlines the symbol, and then all of a sudden your symbol glows momentarily, and then uh, the blood disappears, and then your your heal, your wound that you created heals. All right. So I'm like, I just nod my head, and like, let, let's just go. Where are the creatures? Where's everything else? That you feel, what happened? Uh, you, uh, you feel empowered. You regain, well, you have, nobody's really lost any hit points in any much combat, but <laughs> you feel invigorated. God, this fucking lag's in driving nuts. The lag isn't from just the internet, it's from my computer being a piece of shit. So, Emotion, you seem to be wanting to do something as you have uh, stormed the stage. Hit the stage! Uh-oh. 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 Sometimes words speak louder than, or text speaks louder than words. Um, so... All right. I guess she's uh, trying to grab you with a shocking grasp. Uh, you need to. Well, you, you know how it works. 16 Holy shit! AC. Here we go. Oh yeah, she gets. She gets. This is not uncommon to happen. Children, fucking run, run, both of you, yeah. run like now. This is a warning. The fucking drow has gone insane. Tally's like, somebody what are you kill doing? it. What are you doing? Help me! And she runs up to the stage, and she's got an arrow pointed at you, emotion and. As this is happening, well, I mean, you're gonna get your thing off first before this, but I'm back. Um, What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> um, Jules, the drow's trying to kill everyone. Damn. You can't no, leave the this campaign. To kill she's, she's not trying to kill them. She's just trying to shock. Them. <laughs> I was just being a rabbit. Yeah. And, you're, getting, and we're already getting betrayed yeah, and killed? Yeah, I, I just realized how much shit <laughs> you could have Tiny thing. Everything's fucking going Her crazy. Attack misses. I have an AC of 18. Nice. So, well, actually, don't you take half? Or, no, that's not. No, she has to actually touch you, so she doesn't. So you dodge out of the way as she goes to grab you, and then the tell going like, to be like, Whoa! what's going on? And then she will run up there, and uh, she has her hand at her bow. She doesn't draw it yet. And she's like, what is going on here? Why Why are you guys attacking each other? Well, you guys can I do your thing, know. too. Like, that song, why did you sing it? That I doesn't think, belong here. I take a long sigh and I'm so. immediately. I'm gonna take a sigh, immediately snap, and I'm gonna throw a sanctuary on emotion. Okay. Hmm. What sanctuary? I didn't no, think that would be the one you'd want to protect, no, but. Don't, don't, no. I no. This stops her from attacking too. Oh, that's no, no, that's no, true. No, no, that's not how that works. Well, yeah, I think she can break it. I think it's... Adults, I don't know how it works, actually, in the system. I, I know how it works in 3.5. Thank you. What's my DC? Alright, then I'll, I'll put it on myself and let it affect both of them, then. Your DC right. for what? So, Sanctuary does... You they with... Anytime they make a hostile action, they have to roll a check or divert their attack to someone else. Right, now, if the, warded, if the warded creature attacks, the spell's cancelled, Jolts. Okay, yeah. So in that case, I'm just going to cast on myself, step between them, and say, there is no place for violence here. Please stop. Why was there violence in the first place? I don't know. I don't she, step she, like... she kind of leans over to Alexander a little bit and says, should we get rid of the drow? I kind of look back. Nah, I kind of like this shit. Just know that she wasn't trying to kill him, she was just trying to warn him off. If she really wanted to kill him, she would have let loose a her final lightning. Uh, I, no, I, no, 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 no. I figured. That's the reason I didn't use any hostile spells. I just used a basic sanctuary spell. Well, that, well that's why I kind of look at that and I'm like, I think she would be great for killing. I think we should keep this one. 19 damage was a warning? Potentially. That was a cantrip. <laughs> well, well, the thing Shit. is, what? because she's a dragon sorcerer, she gets to add like her charisma to lightning damage. It's fucking crazy. Oh, that's true. I can do almost like almost thirty with fire vault. Uh, She's just like, don't I... ever sing that again. Or next time, it won't be a grasp that gets you. Uh, Natalia, will uh, say, it sounds like you have some explaining to do. As I thought, it was quite a pleasant song, emotion. As did I. I see. 
If you don't like my music, you can stay out of my range. How did you explain that this is supposed to be like an evil place? Like, there's, there's no, no yeah, problem. yeah. I kind of look at like, I look at the three of them like, are you showing us from here? Like, I happen to learn this spell on a piece of paper that I found in this realm. So yeah. <laughs> you know, There's no way the a way. spell from this realm could create such beautiful images. Nothing yep. in, that I saw is from this realm. Would you like to know about it? I'll, I'll, I'll actually offer emotion. Like, yes. Just, just pass, pass by me this way, come on. The spell, it wasn't a spell. It was a song amplified by the loot. Well, um... It's called the Song of the Bronze Dragon. Yes. It's one of <laughs> Bronze it's one of dragon. twelve. There, there are only six dragons. There is no such dragon. Right. I kind of look like what twelve is songs. A what is a bronze dragon? Yes. There is no it, such color. <laughs> I don't know, but on the paper it said Song of the Bronze Dragon, one of twelve. I also happen to know there's a song of death. Well, let us hope you don't come across that song. That oh, happen. let us do that hope, hope that he why. comes across this. That Perhaps if you find it, he will play it for book. me. Right, I'm like... That's... Anyways, Emerson backs off, but, you know, just kind of glaring, like, warning. Um, as you back off and walk away, uh, Natalie's gonna kind of come up to you, and she's gonna she's gonna approach you. Uh, you know, she doesn't have her hands oh, on her weapon or anything. She's she's approaching politely, um, and she's gonna be like, um, "But but seriously, what what happened? Uh, I've never seen you lash out like that. Uh, something must have happened." Yes, in time. I need to think things through first. You will. I can respect that. Um, she'll back off. But, uh, yeah, right, so, you were going to say something, Timian? Uh, so at this point, I'm kind of just like, <laughs> unsure. I kind of like, I kind of like Varys here. He, he he can be useful to us. So, after realizing that this place is basically done, I, I would be the one to suggest perhaps we should just move on from here. Oh, by the way, Varlis right now would be, like, trepidly shaking out of a combination of fear and mild anger. She'll right. calmly um, everybody... walk over to Varlis and place a hand on his shoulder. Perhaps we can work together to find this book, since you want the song, and I would love to hear it. I'm not 100% sure it's in that book, but considering it's, the closest, considering it's the closest thing to the death I know of, it's probably. Um... Everybody, roll me an investigation that has one. Um, I know you're got you're not technically investigating, but uh, just um. Investigation. Yeah. I put one of my expertise in the investigation. Don't forget, you guys have action points if you need them. <laughs> do I do I get my passive investigation? Uh, no, they're, uh, actually, wait, uh, yes, yes you do. All right. But you've probably should ask that question before you roll. Oh, you didn't roll yet, so never mind, yes. You I did roll, so 21. 21. Um, and it, actually, you know what, damn it, uh, Var Varless, uh, you can use yours too, I, you rolled before that was, ah, oh, I hate that, I well, need to be, I need always, to get on Always that. ask if you guys can use passive, that's all that oh. matters. Yeah, just, yeah, well, because I'm not going to remember to tell you whether or not you can use it or not, because I don't normally use passive rolls in my games. This is like, uh, I usually just nope. always make people roll. So, um, so could I, since I don't have it, would I be able to roll for a passive, or? You don't, uh, passive don't is just works. whatever the stat is, uh, in the blue column oh. on your skills. Uh, well, uh, my passive is 14, so... My okay. passive is... Let's go find out. Is... Uh, 13. Is it? It says 13. No, your, 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 yours is 13, mine's an 11. Oh, Ooh. okay. Holy shit, Natalie. Yep! She broke it. 
She it's, broke it. It's so I'm sure Emotion, Nat, Natalia, and um, and um, Talande will probably all recognize it. Yeah, those of you who got an 18 or better, oh, got 21. We'll notice uh, this. This wall seems out of place right here. Uh, well, actually, what you'll notice is that first of all, the building outside looks much bigger than the building that you have explored. So something's odd. And as you notice that, you notice that there's these cracks in this wall here, as if there's something more to this room. Right, I'm, I'm more or less with then uh, at this point, kind of like. Uh... Now it's up to you guys, whatever you want to do, but. I'm gonna be back sitting um, in the corner. I'm gonna be sitting on the floor in the corner. I'm gonna pat Barlas's shoulder and I'm gonna head to this wall. Yeah. Oh gosh, I had to actually move it along the wall. <laughs> I hate to ask because of how funky my computer's working. Could you just move me and me and Thana all the way over there? Cause I can't do it. I eye this curiously and then press against the wall. Uh, nothing happens. Um, you know that there's something interesting about this wall, but you do not know how to manipulate it. There's not seem to have any knobs or anything on it. Do I see anything pertaining to a switch of some kind? Not on the wall that is close. No, that is close to this door or anything. Alexander. Are there any busts in the yeah. room? Um, there are several. I'm oh, gonna pull the heads of the bus back. Um, nothing happens. Okay. So I just like, what is it? What's got all of your fancies? There's a door here, but I don't know where the switch is. Here, yes. I got it. As by the okay. way, by the way, his sword seems to have disappeared again. And Alexander, sure enough, will just put a boot against it, give it a testing before he just tries to shove it the rest of the way open. Nothing it's... happens. Can I not roll an athletic strike to try to kick the door open? Sure. Inspire me, Bard! Uh, you, the, the wall, you put a crack in the wall, and your foot hurts. <laughs> um, one thing, those of she you who rolled... She kind of looks... One of the, all of you who rolled the good investigations, 18 or plus, will notice that there are several books in this room that are open, and, uh, um... Several, you know, there's several items on these tables, each one of these two tables. I'm gonna start that, fucking with the books. I, I'm gonna start I, uh, fucking with the books. Alright, so you see, see, uh, I'm sorry? I'm gonna read the books. Okay, um, uh, one of the books that is flipped open, um, the book looks odd. Like, uh, the pages are clumped together as if, like, it, the book just wants to be open at, to this page. Like, when you go to flip it, like, ten pages flip to blank. Um, so when, but on this one page that's open, there's a, there's, uh, I guess, kind of a riddle. And it says, or a story, if you will, it says, you know, after a long day's, uh, after a hard, long day's uh, work, I like to sit uh, in my chair with my ale and lean back and reflect on the day with my feet on the table. And then, and only then, okay. am I at peace. I gotta ask, guys. Does anyone else have a uh, fog of war still on? Yeah. Okay, so that means my computer glitched because I can start to see the rest of the map and there's no fog of war and I can't control my token. So I'm gonna reset here. Uh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna sit back and put my feet up on the table. There, yeah, I just put fog of war in the places that you can't see. So. Uh, don't worry about it. I just. I, I'm, I'm fixing it right now. Okay, so what? No, 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 no. It's 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 just a computer glitch. Yeah. Well, hopefully the fog of war will prevent you if it still glitches. But no, no, no. I, I was saying I got it. What are you doing? Um. I'm going to sit on? back and put my feet up on the table. Uh, there are about uh, twelve chairs around this table. Uh, what which chair are you sitting in? Uh, there's Ooh. there's six at each table. What were the exact words at the beginning of that of that that I read? Um, it says, uh, at the end of the day, I like to sit back in my chair, uh, um, sit in my chair, tilt back, put my feet on the table, uh, and drink my ale. At this point, am I at, pe at this point only am I at peace or something like that. I don't have it written is down, there but I have a, the gist of it. Is there a chair at the head of the table? 
Um, there is uh, several chairs. They all seem to be in somewhat uh, messy order, but the chair in front of the, the journal uh, seems to be perfectly aligned with the book. It, all the other chairs are kind of like moved in various directions, but this one is perfectly facing. I'm going to sit at that one then, tilt backward a bit, and put my feet on the table. Okay. When you uh, tilt back, you hear a click, <laughs> and uh, you guys hear a those of you over here at the wall hear a click on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to push it. I it's, grin a bit, relaxing. It seems very easy to lift, and you lift it up as the wall opens. Puzzles are my specialty, I say, as I stand up. All right, as you stand up, the chair uh, falls down, the door slams down. Okay, I sit back down and put my feet up. Right. I kind of like actually take a jump back. Like, <sighs> okay, it's not a stuck switch. It's a I have to stay here switch. That's right. It's now sit. Um, let me reveal. Good boy. <laughs> Got it. Can you see uh, the all the whole map now? It's so glitched. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Nope, I, I no 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 I uh no no I, 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 I so while. Well, really, just sucks. So while holding this spot at the edge of the table, I look to Alexander and says, You wouldn't have a way to let me see through your eyes, would you? <laughs> and I continue walking. <sighs> we'll be like, back like, soon. I'm sure the, sitting down for a moment won't be the end of the world. I'm going to come over if you want to go in, I'll sit down. No, it's fine. You go ahead and go in. You're the shoe bard here. You're the one who needs to tell the stories. And she looks at Varlis and smiles as she holds a hand out. Why don't you walk with me? I pull out my lute and begin to play. Natalia will grab your uh, will grab your lute and she's like, maybe that maybe we've heard enough music for one day. <laughs> I, I, like I turn around and grab it from her. Don't you dare touch it. And she pulls her hands up. She's like, oh, okay, I just, you know, let's... I kind of sigh and smiled and tell her, it's fine, don't worry. If it makes you I'm uncomfortable, make I won't some... play. I, I'm going to make something a little clearer. Even if nothing bad had happened a moment ago, he still would have reacted like that. That's fine. Uh, we, we are all uh, have been doing this long enough to know that we're very good at being in character. Um, right. If you actually feel like something that happened in character wasn't was out of character, then yes. No, no, but... no, 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 no. Everything that's happened right now, I'm trying to stay in character. Yeah, I know, and and I I I knew that. I'm not I'm not really so... mad. And in the game before this one, I still had problems with that. I'm good now. Yeah. Um. Well, good. Um. Get over yourself. Varless is very protective of that thing. I get it. Yeah. No, you make sure we're Wait, no, on the same page. Wait, no. She was here. grabbing. No, no, no. Uh, she was grabbing my loot. Oh. Not yours, I'm sorry. I heard a loot. I have a loot, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah, she it. grabbed uh, your loot. Yeah. And, uh. You stay I... away from my treasures. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like anybody touching loot. Any loot. But uh, my that, loot, like, or, your loot, their loot, his loot, mm -hmm. that loot, this yeah, loot. I don't give a shit. Don't touch it. Loot, loot. But yeah, at that, my character lets out a small sigh and just smiles over Natalia and says, "Very well, I understand. Just go on ahead. All right." Tensions are oh. are high right now, so let's just uh, you know. So Alexander she will makes... lead the way into this new hidden passage. Invisible all of a sudden. He just walks okay. into the darkness and disappears. Now this this uh, little pathway seems quite dusty. Um, there are clearly each one of these things are rooms. Uh, they are the the beds look worn. Uh, you can see like the hay or whatever that was made to make the cushion of the bed sticking out, and uh, the walls oh. look ru ruined. And um, who keeps moving my lights? Uh, four of these are mine, yeah, too. Yeah, four of them are his. I, I said good luck trying to figure out whose light's whose. <laughs> um, okay, the ones I've grouped together are mine, okay? Okay. Okay, and these there ones are mine. I, I just have my lights levitating in the air as I switch them into the appearance of lanterns. Yeah. 
If I oh. wasn't being lazy, I'd give you guys control each of your own, but I'm not. Um, so um, in each one of these rooms, you notice that uh, they're, um, they're, they're empty, except for when you get to uh, this room right here. Did you, you just notice... drag me there? I don't want you. I don't want to fuck up anything. Oh, no. So like fine. It's, it's fine. Alexander it's fine. is way up at, at the front of the group. He's just invisible, so no one else can see him. Um, like I said, like, Stana offered her through. hand to... Varlis to walk with her. Uh, oh, that's nice. nice. Hey, where's our undead that you made, uh, Thena? Uh, outside. outside. They're outside. We stick our uh, head out the door, we all see him doing Thriller. Patty cake, patty cake. <laughs> brains. Oh, um, <laughs> But uh, in this room, uh, you see two dead bodies. They seem to be uh, skeletons at this point, but the way the hands are positioned, it is as if they were holding hands in death. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm pretty... That's disgusting. I'm pretty sure That's that disgusting. someone got out of the chair and left the mirror. Get a room. It's... Oh, never mind. You got a room. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, the bot, the bones, like it's the the body seem like they're so old that all of the skin is de either decayed or whatever. It's just bones. Um, and um, anyways, you guys continue on. Uh, emotion, you get into this room, and this this looks like uh, an old, like smaller tavern, almost as if like uh, this was the old tavern uh, before. Maybe the other end is a build on or something. Um, cause it's just very dusty and cobwebby and, uh, there's, there's several skeletons around. Uh, they, they all seem like they died doing whatever it was they were doing. Like one has his hand out as if he was handing someone an ale. Um, and, uh, the other one, there's two of them like sitting in benches, like with their necks, their skulls. Well, they're like leaning against the wall now and crumbled a bit because there's nothing really holding them together. But it looked like they were probably having a conversation. Um... Yeah. It's like they died immediately without uh, even knowing what hit them. Who's just bang? Dead. Whose light is this? Whose dancing light is this one? That would be me. Okay, you, you all around me. Oh, let me see how much you see. They don't have to be within sight of me. They just okay. have to be within 120 feet. Um, you see blood in this room right here. Oh shit! Sure. Well, I'm not around there. The closest one to that is emotion. Dude, yeah, crazy. I'm just saying you're you're. Okay, they see it. The light will. Um, and okay, you whatever. Oh, I, well, you I see. Oh no, they just give light. You don't see out of them. I'm thinking of the other spell. Never mind. Yeah, they're just. I'm standing on a table. Yeah. You see <laughs> shit. Hey, uh, J um, Jared, I'm having issues. You could just move me beside Emotion. I'm not in the bathroom. <laughs> um, you guys see a wall that has been ripped open here, in a pathway. It looks like uh, a make somebody makeshift dug through solid dirt and rock um somehow and it leads to this little cave is the blood fresh or uh, it looks like somebody killed somebody and drugged them and the blood seems very old it's just stained into the wood so it's very old interesting i'm moving the back light to the forward position you feel a presence of evil em emitting from that little cavern that you're looking into. Well, I don't think me and you are afraid. Let's go. Uh, wee! Guys, just, dude, it's I can't. Huh? He just looks at Alexander like you first. Sorry. Are you All just right, so, staying back? Okay. So, yeah, Alexander will gladly, invisibly, travel into the cavern. Oops. Um, you see a uh like this plate armor knelt down with the sword stuck in the ground and uh what looks like blood coming from the eye sockets dripping down the helmet that he's wearing what condition is that armor in and he's surrounded in a pool of dried blood the armor <laughs> is made out of iron and it's a bit rusty but uh i mean that's typical of armor in this realm. That's plate mail. Yeah, well, it's iron plate because they don't have steel is like platinum. 
if you saw steel armor in this realm, it would be like seeing platinum armor in the realm of light. Jesus Christ. Yeah, steel is so, super valuable. But um, I'm looking at this metal. But it's plate mail, so it works just like regular plate mail, 18 AC, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's just, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about taking it off this guy. You know, unless it's alive. It's super irate, irate, like, you know that the evil is radiating from the armor, because whatever's inside the armor seems to not be moving, I guess. So you would just think that it's coming from the armor. So I I'm gonna I lap whatever I'll, I'll, le I'll lean off. down, still invisible kind of wave my hand in front of it and go to remove the helmet piece at least. Um, give me a will save. Wisdom save. Sorry. Still stuck on 3-5 saves. I know. <laughs> and statistics say... Oh! Um, you... Um, when you take this off, you see a face. Uh, oh, shit. oh, yeah, what happened? What, uh, hmm, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, come uh, on. Just a <laughs> second. Hey, guys, okay, I'm recording a video. Don't bother me! <sighs> now, Demi, My wife tiny is. piece of advice. Might want to use one of those points. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll, see. we'll see what happens. Where's my damn picture at? Is it the face of Thana? What's it? What's it going? What's it going? Uh, by the way, is Natalie staying behind with me, or is she in there with them? I think Natalie stayed with you. Okay, so you see the vision of a woman who uh, is she's um, taking her fingers and jamming them inside of her eye sockets and ripping oh. her eyeballs out. Um, here is a, a beautiful picture for you to uh, to enjoy. Holy Alexander gets to see it, please. Um, try, not, try not to destroy the children. Yeah, um, yeah, if your children are watching, you might want them to look away. Well, I'll just show it to all you guys, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> um, <laughs> and she offers her eyeballs to you as a gift. Oh, that's nice. I'm pretty damn sure cure wounds ain't gonna help that. <laughs> you are, you feel so much evil around you, it is just, just overwhelming. I take it. I take her eyes. Take it away, take it away, take it away. She says, eat. Oh, eat. God, she wants you to eat her eyes. Not the, probably not the worst thing she would have me eat, but... Mm, All things considered, we're talking about Alexander here. He probably does that for fun. Oh, yeah, for God, what is that? Ha 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 I'm sorry, I had to bow out. Every time somebody leaves, <laughs> they miss something. <laughs> like They miss something they miss crazy something every crazy. time someone leaves. But you can't leave for ten seconds in this campaign sorry. without... <laughs> Like, your bladder. You gonna sit and wait. Yeah, you will okay. sit there and you will hold it. <laughs> like you leave for a minute. The next minute, so we made it to the realm of light, and the realm of darkness is starting to overtake the realm of light in the great war. <laughs> yeah, so, what? So, so <laughs> and Varlis this whole time has been the legendary thirteenth dragon. <laughs> what? Shh, not yet. Come on. Don't blow your cover, <laughs> <sir>. <laughs> um, um, you know what? Alexander's probably done weirder shit in his ceremonies. Probably. As I said, he probably does crap As like that for fun. In these eyeballs, this woman she smiles, and then all of a sudden, this face launches at you. And okay. um, you uh, <laughs> you uh, snap out of it, and all of a sudden, you you guys see him get launched back. Uh, and you wake, you wake up, and you are wearing this helmet. All, the rest of you guys oh, see him take you. the helmet, put it on. Oh, that's nice. Oh God! Can scream, I please get rid of the picture? I don't like launched it. Launched back. <laughs> uh, um, Alexander, you can't see anything. You're oh, you are. Oh, you agent. Can I just say something out of game, Zimming, real quick? Sure. Wasn't it you who told me not to put on cursed objects? <laughs> like ever. <laughs> 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 
Oh. Yeah. That's why when, do, when Demi doesn't follow his own advice. Oh. That moment when Demi decides to say fuck it. Yes, no. and now there seems it's to be blood well coming out him. of this this helmet's eye sockets. Uh, fresh blood coming out of it. Ah! Oh. Hey, wait, Jared. Sorry? I hate to uh, ask. Huh? Now, okay, so basically my character's blinded and there's blood pouring out of my head into the helmet, right? Yeah, you're not like in extreme pain, like your eyeballs have been ripped out, but you are in pain and you cannot see. Now, what's the chance is I'm a warlock. Mm -hmm. I have special magic sight given to me by my patron. I can see through pretty much any you form of magic. You can see through weapon. magical means. You just, you're, you're, like, physically what you would see out of your eyes, uh, you can no longer see. So, so I can still kind of see my surroundings thanks to uh, my... Like, you know, like a, it's like a sensory sight. It's not as, uh, it's not as perfect as visual sight, but yes. So I can still see my normal Yeah, vision. you can still kind of see... Uh, th uh, for those of you who've seen Daredevil, like kind of like his, okay. view, like he can see you around him, but he's still technically blind. It's just the, now all you see is through the magical sense. Are like, you saying if he you walk through a anti magic field, you'd be completely blind? I would she say. Uh, she runs like, over to Alexander to see if he's okay. Yeah, well, it's a good thing it happened to you then. <laughs> right, so I kind of check, check the helmet. Like, am I wearing that helmet? Yeah. Yeah, you know you're wearing. Are you okay? I kind of feel the blood coming off out of the helmet, like pouring out and wipe you, it on my hands. You guys see a uh, a skull with decayed skin on it, and uh, and um, like uh, yeah. Well, that's all you see uh, from where the helmet was on this armor. Oh so, God! So I'm like, I can't see. Excuse me for a minute. Got a barf. <laughs> All right, I'm good. All right, let's get the uh, let's get the chest plate now. <laughs> what? So that so would kind be of, hilarious. If just I kind of that. just leaning against the wall, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I kind of like I can't see. Like I said, Thena runs over and puts a hand on his shoulder. Okay, keep going. I got. Yeah, you have an action points. You can use them. If you use an action point, I'll allow you to remove it. Oh, but the armor? The rest of it? No, I'll let you remove the helmet off your head. I have a hero. I'm not going to do it, though. No, I'm saying with an action point, you can do it. The hero point, I, I will, uh... Well, we, you, we can negotiate what you can do with that. But I'm looking at the rest of that guy's armor. That's plate man. What's... Well, um... It's cursed. It is plate. plate mail. It is definitely plate mail. Yes, it is uh, uh, iron now, type. Let's, let's, oh, but, oh, one okay. other thing I, I forgot to mention is the helmet, like it was rusted iron when you grabbed it, but now that it's on your head, is very beautiful, uh, freshly made iron. It looks different. Oh, it, how min the minus did the blood get in here? Minus the blood stains coming from the eyes, those kind of make it look a little not so appealing. I, I kind of wonder, like, is this thing going to kill me? You continue to wonder that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell um, you. I, I look question. at, I look, I, I kind of wave my hands around. Someone, can someone tell me what the hell the properties of this helmet is? Like, does well, anyone have a identify they're willing to spend ten minutes to identify what the fuck happened? Everyone roll identification. Identifies a spell. <gasps> Wait, no, I know how we can get it off. Huh. Talandai's mm -hmm. book! Talandai's book, but we just flake a little piece off throw it on? No, he just touches it and the whole helmet gets sucked in. And now that I think about it, probably you too. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that would right. suck. So, okay, so I, do, so I do ask if someone can, like, identify the properties of this helm, maybe. I guess I could try... I mean, it's a, fir it's a first level spell, and if you just ten sp spend ten minutes, you won't use up a spell slot. Then I, I suppose I'll give tiny... it a try. Can I ask a tiny question? Mm. How did Talandai get in here? Oh my god! No. Did he use he in here? Oh, hi. How was... When did... Oh, shit. I don't know. I was gone. What happened? Talandai did... somehow next to me. Is how he not supposed how to be? Did... 
How did Tally He's get in here? supposed to be in the chair. Tally's supposed to be oh. in the chair. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? They, well, who drove me in there? I didn't. Uh, oh, I was still in the chair. Well, for some reason, can I ask, can control uh, this character too. You can ask Natalia to sit in the chair, and you can go in there with him if you want. It's the whole point. Natalia kind of Natalia kinda has the whole four foot. No, thing she going just on. like uh, goes on her hind legs and then grabs the back of the chair and puts her weight on it to pull it back. <laughs> She's like, "Go ahead, <laughs> I'm an NPC. I'm not important." <laughs> I just chill here, like fuck it. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm oh, yeah. Like, uh, my just catching up on nap. My, right. my character's catch up on nap time. All right, well, uh, you do whatever you want to do. You're welcome to go back there, though. She has no problem. All right. Doing so, all right, I'll, I, go, I I'll, I'll go back in here while she's there, then, as I nod to her. Thanks, Tally. Hey. I mean, thanks, Natalia. Nat hey, Nat, what does this helmet what do? do to help? I'm working on it. Yes, sir, sir. <laughs> so they seem to be looking at some sort of a helmet uh, that is... Uh, that is currently stuck upon Alexander's fucking skull because yes. he's dumbass and started uh, to touch it. He looks pretty ridiculous because it's a like a really nice helmet. Like, Well, it's not nice. It's just like the helmet that covers his whole head and then he's just not wearing any armor from the below. Um, what happened? What do you mean? I have armor on. Oh. I'm just sitting out here on a table. Okay, well then, never mind then. It just doesn't match yeah. your armor. Yeah, it's, well, it's still hey, do I even have insight? I should have insight. Do I have insight? No. Shit. Nope. Okay, I need to see it. Hey, Nutelli! Oh, okay, so yeah, the helmet uh, you <laughs> were wearing, it was way more badass than the helmet you're wearing now. The, the w helmet you're wearing now is more like a Monty Python, like, cylinder shape. Um, yeah. And uh, has two slits for the eye holes that are bleeding, that have blood coming out of them, and that's it. So for everybody watching, she... this is what he, this is the armor he's wearing. Um, but yeah. Oh. I just scream, "Good guy," don't I? Oh yeah. yeah. Of course. Totally. Keeper of the peace, man. What? So go ahead, go ahead. Uh, this is it's in your guys' hand now, so. So she identifies what the helmet does. Oh, you have Music the spell? Yeah. No. I didn't see it rolled. Oh, no? Oh. I'm hearing yes and no. Oh, I thought you did. I no didn't have... put it in my spells. Does no one has Unless I'm supposed to have, like, four spells. I don't know. Yeah, you're supposed to have another yeah. spell. Right. So you have, like, you have, like... Are you kidding me? You have, like, several spells. No. You should have, like, a fuck ton of spells. Yeah, for your first one, you should have at least four, right? Yeah, for at six, uh, uh, first level, you should have like six. At level six, you should have like fifteen almost. I suppose she I has could... four level ones, three level twos, three level threes, and then a cantrip. Yeah, you should have far more. One of those is inside that. <sighs> No, 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 inside the skill. Shit. Um, identify. Okay. It seems awful convenient. I, I mean, I, I will... I almost want to say... I hate d being this kind of a GM, but I almost want to say... I guess I could... You can have identify, but you didn't... Uh, damn it, no. Uh. I can roll. I'm not going to cheat. I don't want to cheat. I can always roll. Well, no, well, I think there it's is a no spell role. you would have as a... Uh, you know, I, I just... I feel like it's a spell yeah. you would have, so I, I'm okay with it. Yeah, it's one of those things, like, you... Like, you should have six from level one and two spells per level after that. So this means you should have Curse should have six. Nice GMness. Yeah, go ahead and give it to yourself. Uh, just make sure you put it on your list and, uh, you know, whatever. Right. Yeah, you have 16 spells, by so the way. So you That's identify you it, and every single one of these pieces of armor uh, seems different. Now, how, when you identify it, it's just everything magical in the room. It's not just one item, or how, how does that uh, uh It's, out? um... It's particular items, so she so, so she's doing a helmet. Part. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this helmet is definitely a, a, a cursed helmet. There's no doubt about that. Um, well, I mean, the blood kind of is. I the think you guys kind of there. already know the gist of what it does. It essentially blinds the person who wears it, but it gives them a plus uh, one to their AC. Oh. Okay. And, uh, but, uh, ev it, it seems to be, uh, constricting, as if getting tighter. Okay. And, well, she could easily cast it again on the... So, the I'm guessing if it gets tighter and tighter, it eventually kills whoever it is 
Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Oh, wait, no, I know what it does, but you don't. <laughs> well, she casts Identify. She knows all the properties of the helmet. Um, it, uh, it will essentially get so tight to where it will take the shape of his face, and uh, he will, he, it'll be permanent. All right, so... You've got to take it I, off every once in a while. All right, so I'll, I'll try to remove... So if she tells me all this, I'll definitely try to remove it again. This time, willing to take whatever damage comes with it. Okay. Uh, take. Oh, that's shit. You take f six points of damage. <laughs> okay. That's it. As it, as it. Yeah, I rolled terrible. As you, as it rips off some of your uh, skin. I know that uh, six points doesn't even represent harm to your character, but. Uh, for flair, it rips off some of your skin, and it's it's like you cut yourself really bad shaving on each cheek. <sighs> As I throw down the helmet, so am um, I still blinded or your, your still... eyes are glazed over when you initially pull it off, but once you stop touching the helmet, your your vision returns to normal, and your eyes like it's almost like they're rolled back in the back of your head. They roll forward, and you can see again. And this helmet looks old and rusty again. Yeah, she jumps on him. I don't care. She jumps on him. Alright, so they start humping. Uh, what is everybody else doing? <laughs> no, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, just, is it bad that I just jumped to the worst conclusion? She's just, just giving him a hug. Jesus, calm down. And, and I reapply my hug. Alright, so they're hugging. That's less exciting, but... Um, so, uh, what is everybody else doing? Um, so I look like perhaps I'm going to look deeper into the cave if I can. Um, it? Yeah, there, there seems. Uh, give me an. Uh, you can give me a perception investigation to. The, it seems like it's like just a circle. Like it is there on the map. Mhm. Mm with this armor in the middle, but you can give me a, a perception or an investigation, preferably an investigation if you want to inspect this further. Mm. Ooh. Yep, yeah, nope. You, uh. Just looks like okay. the entire purpose of this little, uh. alcove is for this armor, which is kind of odd, but it is what it is. Alright. That kind of looks like bad stuff. This right here? Yeah. Um, it is actually, these were at some point probably luxurious rooms. Uh. They're oh, no, no, I, I, dust now. I'm sorry, that stuff that looks like beds with bones on them. Oh, yeah, oh I see. Stuff. Yeah, that's just uh, dead bodies. It's, it's like a couple laying together in a bed. Uh, they, died. Yeah. they must have died laying there together. They oh, must have died cute. doing what they did when they lived. <laughs> As Humping. Use your imagination. Um, they died doing what they love. Each other. Um, you notice that uh, these people here in this bed, though. Uh, no, never mind. You don't notice it. Damn it. Uh, uh, it's okay. Just, it's just bones. No, I, I was thinking of something else. Sorry. It's, I'm just getting ahead of myself. I was going to say, if you want to, I can move up. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, <clears throat> because, because surprisingly, despite being a coward, I tend to walk first. <laughs> <sighs> so Alexander will be close behind as he's like Ugh. you guys are starting to really cut out i'm gonna jump out real quick and rejoin okay 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 I, i'm still lagging so fucking bad i see alexander's face the the hell happened to call? you no it's not that i think it's just bad weather all the way around okay, yeah because i have perfect weather outside i don't it's i can't blame it on the weather so it's, it's um, the rest of us i think Okay, well, no. if somebody else wants to host, just let me know. We can try it, but... All right. No, it's okay. So, I see Alexander's face. The hell happened okay. to you? Uh, you all hear a shit, and then a, uh, like a... What? Well, continue on. What were you doing? <clears throat> you said shit. It sounded like Natali. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, wait, somebody okay. left, didn't they? Hold on. Nope, I'm not doing anything until whoever left gets back. 
Uh, that uh, would be Ray. Yeah, she's. Uh, <laughs> uh, I finally caught myself on it this time. It's it's weird. Why though. can't I move my fucking toe? Mm. Can you not move All it? things considered, if we have to break down that door, I think between most of us and pretty much just Alexander, we can <laughs> knock down that wall. <laughs> it's just inspired me, guys. I I give him all three inspires. I give him the uh, plus ten to speed, and he dashes and rams all into right. the wall. Go ahead, move your character. <laughs> oh, I'm, tr I'm trying. I'm having fun. <sighs> Something seems what? to be holding you back, like lag. No, where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> it is the spirit of lag. Okay, I step back into the hallway. Okay, the I, door. I, the door over here God. is shut. Yeah. So bad. Oh, right. Sweet. I'm gonna run. I, I, I'm. Now would be a good time to start panicking if you want. But I'm just. I mean, that's just my suggestion. I, I'm gonna run up to the wall and start pounding on it. What happened? You hear well, I, I uh, voices on the shit. other end. Shit. Shit. We're we're Alexander standing as far as I'm aware here. I want to check out these other three Wait, other areas. Tell me, up can here. you ping the map? Can you do that at least? Give me a ping. Yep. Oh, yeah. So ping where you want your character to be, and I'll move it there. I don't see the ping, but apparently you do. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, hold on. I'm having issues. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I saw your pings over there off the map, but... Oh, I, um... Uh, I think something else is going on. Oh. I, I need a new computer. I should go back to my other computer. That computer's nice. This one sucks dumb dick. Yeah, I thought you got a new one. Shit, at this point, you probably use a phone. Um, I know. At this point, I think about it. Except my phone's cracked, so it's good. Oh, my God. Okay. Fuck it. It just drops. <laughs> Rage quits. <laughs> my phone works better it's than right. this computer. Can... Dude, this is a really bad, like, like 10-year-old computer at this point. I swear to God. It's all right. We can do a little theater of the mind with your character. It's fine. Um, you just you're yeah, you're, you're just, keeping up with the action, right? You're going where the action is. This, this, uh, no, I wanted to check out these other rooms unless Thena goes back that way. Okay. Well, well, um, well wait, I'm going wait. to, I'm going to be yelling now. Okay. You guys all hear this. Oh, Alexander, Natalie's in trouble. You hear a really long. <sighs> the door's closed too. <laughs> So I, so I. If I, do, do my if I hear Natalie's in trouble, I'm running. Sorry, uh, Taliande, like, I, 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 I kind of led you, kind of baited you on that one. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> take it. What kind of monster are you? I'm a dick I sometimes. Actually, I can be a dick sometimes. I can't actually cares about Taliande. I will make uh, this wall explode. <laughs> you can do whatever you guys want. I will make this wall explode. You guys have action points. Okay. All right, how, how do you want to do so? Okay, just, um, can you give me one second here? We'll just find please. out. Sure, just right. one second. Yeah, just... Okay, what is it? Give me a second to fucking get everything going here again. <laughs> Let's fuck this computer. This computer sucks. I think my PlayStation would work better than this. Yeah, do you have a tablet? You can do the tablet? Uh, I mean... I have a tablet. Yeah, I have a tablet. I can give you the, I can give you the link to get in here. There's a, I think there's a code I can give you. A QR code for tablet? Hold on. That Hold on, matter. I got this. Oh, nice. Um, okay, yes. Wow, my phone works a thousand times better. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Actually, that this brings up a sad, question. Actually. How loud am I? Fine. All right, so... Oh, no. Where am I at? I'm up okay. here. Yeah, I wanted to check out... So is there nothing going on in these rooms up here that, that I'm by? Um, there, there are some things that you'll find in these rooms if you wish to ignore what's going on below and then check them out. Oh. Uh, unless, Dana... Hey, Ice, where are you, by the way? <laughs> down here. She's still in the room with the armor. Yeah, cool. She has yeah, yet right. to move since then. Hey, Ice, are, are you here? Damn it. Wake up. Wait a minute. When the chair tilts back, that's what causes it, right? Uh, or yeah, to wait on the chair. I got a plan. I got a plan. I tell oh, everyone goodness. to move the way. I'm going okay. to... I'm going to approach right up to the door, to the wall, and I'm going to take a deep breath and cast Warding Wind to throw everything in the room around, and hopefully the wind will move the chair outside, too. Can you do that through this wall? 
I can do it anywhere that wind will pass. And there's so, cracks in the wall. There are some, yeah. Uh, and it just collectively gets stronger and stronger as the wind passes through these cracks. Is that how that works? In this case, yes. It moves up to 20 miles per hour. Nice. All right. Uh, give yourself an action point as you hear a click and the door opens. Oh. Hey, I'm so, okay. Do I see anything here? <laughs> door opens. Oh, oh, in there. Uh, there's absolutely nothing. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, there, uh, you see a, mm -hmm. um, a, a broken ladder that's, uh, there seems to be a t an upper part of this room where you'd probably store stuff that's, like, right above your head. Um, if you go to the other side of the room, you'd be able to look up there and you would see all of these, like, crates and boxes and stuff. Oh. Um. Hey, Ray, guess what? Loth oh. is visiting me. Hey, get up here. Um. One of her mini servants. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it fucking dead. Uh, but the, the 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 ladder that goes up to the upper platform is is like uh, broken at the halfway point, so you have to give me a little jump, a little acrobatics right. to grab it. All right. Well, that's that. But so, what about if you um, under room here? Okay. Uh, this room is just full of all sorts of um, uh, junk. Uh, anywhere right. ranging from uh, barrels of what probably held ale to um, more boxes and dust and clutter. Oh yeah, then so guess what I do? I, I go to jump up there and see what the fuck's I mean up here. acrobatics. Here. Don't give me the shit right. about passive acrobatics. I, I, I do not accept <laughs> um, well, Unless wait, you specialize on. in that shit as a rogue or something, you gotta roll it. <clears throat> now, wait, before you, you know, before you be that guy. Oh, I'm that guy. What what is... Would it not be in athletics because I'm physically throwing myself up, not trying to dexterously, acrobatically roll and tumble and like? Would it not just be a simple <sighs> yeah, athletics Yeah, I, I was kind of torn on that because you're trying to jump and then grab something. Um, yeah, that's still... But, that's still um, yeah, I guess, yeah, I'd, I'd be okay with that. I will allow ah. it. Did me smart. No, I'm 100% I'm uh, negotiable. You can always negotiate with me. Sorry. So just because I um, just because I've switched over to my phone does not mean that everything works 100% easier. Can we roll for you? I mean, if you have Did dice you outside, you can just roll. I don't really care. But you I see can, that? I can roll for you. Oh, there it is. Sweet. I can. Cool. Go with the top 19. one. That's the one. That roll. Yeah. yeah. So you grab it and you're able to pull yourself up in there. And uh, when you get to the top, you see. Um, the, the skeleton with his arm around a chest. As if he was, like, he had his... And then you see, like, this, uh, broken, uh, tankard of ale, uh, next to his other hand. As if he was, like, up here protecting this and he was drinking while he was doing it. And he's got his arm over the chest. Okay, uh, if you want to let them do the thing here, because Alexander's okay. just going to approach the chest. Gotcha. All right, we'll get back to you. All right, so you guys right. open this door and, oh, Natalia is nowhere to be seen. By the way, Alexander, when you go to open the chest, make sure that the chain is not straight. Ha <laughs> ha Yes. Oh, yeah. A little Dark Souls humor. Um, yeah, so she's nowhere to be, sat, to, to be seen, and there, there is definitely evidence of a struggle, as there's a whole bunch of shit on the floor that wasn't there before, but uh, there, you do not hear or see any people in this place. Whatever it was, it happened quickly. Am I sensing anything? Or no? No. Can we do an investigation real quick? You most certainly can. Yeah. Come on. Shit, wrong. Um, uh, passive investigation? You see as the scuffle seems to have went onto the stage at one point. I know that's more of like a survival for tracking, but I mean it's pretty obvious. She didn't go lightly. Uh, what 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 were you saying? Passive. Pa uh, passive investigation. To yeah, try sure. To of course. All right, uh, twenty-one. Um, that you see the same thing. Um, you see that uh, she seems to have dropped something. I run over and pick it up. It looks like a, a piece of parchment, and on it, um. It's it just seems to have been ripped out of uh, of her journal or something. And it's just kind of a log of the day, 
you, you don't know the purpose of it or why it's here. I raised an eyebrow and I don't know I how look it's for writes in a journal. Don't get don't don't look into it too hard, okay? Wait a minute. I look <laughs> at this curiously and I look for reason. another one. Maybe rush outside to see if we can catch sight. Yes, you see yeah. another you see another one uh, at the end of the I'm going to start following the trail. Okay, you uh that will lead you outside of the building. We'll get to everybody outside of the building after we've dealt with everybody in the building, if that's all right. All right. I don't want to like separate you guys too much because it hurts my head this late at night. Um, so, uh, Thana, what are you doing? You haven't done anything in a long time. Our Varless. She's um, she's kind of preoccupied at the moment. Okay. So she uh, is. Uh, just gonna hang out with you. We'll say that. What are you doing, Varless? Plasmus. Man, what is my the... mic was muted. <laughs> why does why does the night have to be a shitty um, night? Gosh, everyone's what here, happened? but no one can stay. <laughs> it just seems like oh. this is, this game is like Tuesday nights have cursed now. Yeah. I don't know. I'm panicking because of what just happened, and I'm also waiting for Alexander to hurry the shit up. As Alexander's over here, like, I'm sorry, was that murder I heard? No, then I don't give a shit. I will play the song again! <laughs> what song? I, don't make me. <laughs> Thunderbolt rips through the walls. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, no, you like, won't. <laughs> like, Alexander like... has no idea what happened with that song. That's just totally over his head. Actually, I guess I turn the motion was in the other room. How would she even know that I did that? Because she was affected by the music. Yeah, but you weren't. That would imply that you had more of a chance of knowing where it was coming from. Yeah, but I was too busy killing a thing. Killing Whatever. Me. I'm trying to use logic. <laughs> I know, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm countering your argument. Damn it. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm waiting. She kind of narrowed it down to singing, bards, okay, I had to pick one of two, so it's obviously the flamboyant one. <laughs> she, oh, she used oh so you hate flamboyance now too, huh? <laughs> yes. Uh, we, are just, we are just going to have a horrible time. Quick question, <laughs> I have, have I handed out the wand of randomness yet? Yeah, I think you have. Yeah, yeah I would have be it. Good. Yes. Okay. Let's make sure. Right, you give that to I am going to aim that at it, any... It every single one of my campaigns in session. That 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 one is going to be used against whatever motherfucker touched Natali. That's it. They're all oh, dead. Shit. All dead for you, Sam. NPC servant purpose. Check. He, he rolls it. It turns into power word kill. <laughs> shit. <laughs> and awesome. uh, time for all of us to roll a new character sheet. All right. <laughs> so uh, you uh, you're opening the chest. Is that what I heard? Did I hear that correctly? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you check the chain? Check the chain. <laughs> Who decided to open a chest? Demi, did you decide to fuck with something again? Yeah. Didn't we learn our lesson last time? No. I'm a slow learner. Dad, I like to touch stuff. No, you <laughs> to touch the chain. I I like to touch the chain. Make me very happy. Uh, I guess gotta see yeah. what this ring does before I give it to you. But you see a ring. Uh, when you open the chest. Anything else? Uh, no, just a ring. And th this chest is unnecessarily big for this ring. Oh, double check. The <laughs> chest. Ring see burden. If <laughs> I see if there's. <laughs> I see if there's a false bottom and all that good such too. Uh, no, there does not. Well, you can roll actually. Sorry. Roll well, the fourteen. My thing's being stupid. No, you, you do not see. Okay. Right, so I just pick up the ring and like, ooh, shiny. Um, this light, As you put it this on light, here. sorry, I just, <laughs> spoiler alert, this ring, uh, is a, uh, is, it kind of emits a, a weird little glowing light. Okay. Like, what kind of glowing light? Um, a pulsating glowing light. <laughs> well, uh, of like, uh, very, uh, like of a white <laughs> brilliance, uh, Oh, I, I try to. I, tr I don't try it on, because something about the light scares me. 
Hold on, wait. wait. Well, Alexander hates light for the beginning, so I'll be like, I'll take it. <laughs> right, I, I just pocket it for now. Let Thana oh. check it out later. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no. <that's... laughs> Nothing. What? All right. That's weird. <laughs> Interesting little coincidence. That's all. Um, it's got yeah, something the, about uh, the. Like, it's got uh, pictures of like shooting stars going around the 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 outside rim of it. Yeah, just kind of for now, it makes me kind of like hesitant. So I'm just like, I, I'll pocket this and let Thana identify it later. Okay. Um, well, you know, it's this. It's moments like these that make me realize I should probably explore more. <laughs> um, I might be stupid. I'll just and do leave this stupid page open, uh, and I'll reveal it later. But uh, for now, uh, I assume you're going to proceed yes. forward with the party. Uh, this is, seems to be the only thing in this room uh, that you see after searching. Um. God, my phone just handles this so much easier than my fucking computer. God, I love this phone. You know, and I'm all mad at it because it keeps cracking and breaking Turn due to a broken devil. But this is such a nice phone. Okay, so you guys all gonna follow the trail and go outside, assuming, right? Uh, I can't yeah. seem to because you have. I can't go through walls. Boom. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, you guys are all outside. Um, and uh, you see that the, the, the paper trail. <laughs> literal paper trail. <laughs> uh, good times. Anyways, um. You follow it uh, outside, and uh, it's the, the when you get outside, the wind is kind of hectic, and you just see these papers blowing everywhere. Um, but you do see these papers, and you you hear well, actually, you see in the distance that there is this um, this uh, quickly moving caravan, and uh, you see her head poking out of the back of it, and she's shouting. She seems to be gagged, actually, um, and and. Um, she she's taking her her head and she's like quickly rubbing it across this book that is she's got rubbed up against her and <laughs> it is ripping paper it fly, paper is flying out. Can we see what's like in it, the caravan? Like works or is it like what's on the pages? Uh, there's just yeah. the, uh, you're looking at the very back of it. In the front of it, there are two people obviously guiding these horses, but you can't see over the height of the caravan. Um. That's what's, it. what's the page? What's the book page that she's ripping out? Just random pages of her journal, and yet yeah, she that she magically writes somehow with her hooves. <clears throat> she has. Yeah, so hands. we can follow. She does have hands. Uh, you're right. Two I, questions. And being a douchebag and thinking that. They where are. is Asriel and where am I undead? Um, right outside. Oh yeah, wait. That's a good question. Oh, you're on oh. dead or sitting there like, nah, their fingers on their lips and. Nah. She sends the undead oh, after okay. them, and she's gonna call Azrael to her. Okay, they start walking at a speed of like very slow 20. towards her, like. Nah. Yeah, they move as fast as they can. So I kind oh, of. God. For my horse. And every once in a while, they'll bump into one of the tents and like <laughs> lose their balance, but then they'll catch it and keep walking. <sighs> Not the smartest. But anyways, what were you saying? I, I recall for our horses. Oh yeah, your horses are no nobody seems to have bothered them. There they are. Your 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 nightmare just kind of evolve comes from the ground. It's like this hole opens in the ground and fiery flame and uh, comes from the ground and it just rises and then the ground closes. Holy like, crap. Yeah. Like by the way, hi, we got extremely a badass. So uh, I'll let I'll let Emotion the Drow ride with me, and 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 dear Thana can let someone ride with her if she chooses. I'll hold my hand out. Whoever wants to take it can take it. Considering um, Taliande, uh, Taliande is yeah, take him. I'll walk again. I just I just know what? Can I just have? Can I just have Varlas like hanging off the side of my thing? Like I just have him like lash inside and rope to it, like to battle. To battle. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> this red light is gonna represent the path you guys have tro went so far. Um, you guys, the, they're actually heading. They start heading south, and then you see them kind of taking a uh, 
a, a more southwest turn and then almost start heading west. Kind of like this. Where are they heading? They're heading towards the freaking cloud. <laughs> well, the cloud is like way up here now. Oh, wow. It moves really quickly. Uh, I'm like, so I look, do we even wish to go chasing after her? No, you, it's totally up to you guys what you do. Uh, that's why I didn't ask you. It yeah, will, it will not hurt my feelings if you did abandon my NPC. I'll just make another one. <laughs> All right, I kind of look at look at Thana like, do we wish to even follow after this thing? I I got a message or something. <laughs> Is anyone going to respond, or am I just talking to myself? Yes, yeah, we'd like to chase after him. Yeah, we're definitely chasing after him. Yeah, Indeed. At lag issues. So everybody's... We're having problems. We're having lots of problems. Okay, yes, this is the it... a terrible night. Uh, this is literally the most yeah. hilarious forward slash saddest <laughs> forward slash... It's like this... Buggiest forward slash... Yeah, we're getting... Session, we're, getting we're, we're actually shit. getting close. Most fucked up and everything's session... Wrong. Like, no, yeah, first my internet goes down, and then all my power goes down, and I'm just sitting there in the dark, like, I don't like this. And I'm not okay <laughs> with know, this. After I'm really just not okay down. with this. And then it all comes back, and I run to my room, and I, like, jump on my computer, and I'm like, I'm here! And then everything just gets fucked over, and everything just gets fucked don't over, worry, like, we'll several be, times. Don't worry, you totally won't have nightmares of women ripping out their eyeballs and trying to feed them no. to you. So. I, now you know no. how I feel every Tuesday. Mm. I'm pretty sure I will. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some freaky dream of like some lady pulling out her eyeballs and going, "Here, dearie, give him a taste." This is like, gonna sound Here. bad. But that would totally make my day if that happened. But um, uh, so you guys uh, give me perceptions. Uh, passives. Uh, you know, I don't even. Yeah, passives are okay. So I already know one of you is gonna make the check. Perceptions. Um, Yes, passives are okay, but if you uh, if you roll, then you take the roll. Um, Alexander doesn't doesn't seem to lose sight of anything. What does he notice? Uh, well, I'll, I'll let you know. Duh! Now that oh, he has, you know, eyes. Crit, double crits. Um, oh man, I gotta figure out a reward system for double crit, even though it doesn't. Oh, I've used it before. Rage is completely broke. Roll twenty. It starts raining Elf. men. What? Tell me, what do your elven eyes see? Everything! <laughs> too much! I see too much! Oh, she like, she's like sees an orc off in the distance somewhere, butt-ass naked, taking a bath. <laughs> oh, do you feel like somebody's watching you? Like, no, you idiot. Hair, oh, okay. Like these little black curly hairs hanging out of his ass yeah. crack, and she's just like, I see too much. Yeah. <laughs> I see too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> Yeah, so you see that, that and you don't see anything else because you saw too well. You don't even see it in front of you. You see something in another dimension. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god, the whole thing that there's guys. other fucking I dimensions. I don't know what you see, but what I see is. Oh, somebody. Okay, rip out my eyes and eat them. No, um. <laughs> Alright, no, you guys. I understand um, everything. <laughs> anybody who gets over uh, a 16 will wow. see uh, a large army coming from the, the north. Uh, this army looks very familiar. It looks like the army, uh, your, your, uh, your, two, your two humans and the elves w blended in with. Oh, you are shitting me. Uh, and they start coming towards this caravan. Um, and this caravan just takes a 90 degree turn, almost tipping over, going south, trying to run away from them. So we try to catch up to that. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's papers see, are flying everywhere. Right. Her, she had a good thing. She has a thick journal. Um, so, the so, four of you are going to go try, on board. Um, so I'm gonna can we like try up. to cut them oh, off, seeing that they're going south now? Uh, well, they're yeah. I mean, you guys can move that quick. Those of you with horses. The other of you, I don't know if you could do that. So, so it's just, horse... just going to be me. Okay. Yeah, so basically, basically, I have emotion on me and. Uh, and uh, Teleonde's with Thena. By the way, I have like my giant crossbow in hand. It's it's kind of lowered it near Teleonde, just in case he gets too clever. <laughs> All right. 
so uh, you guys will be able to uh, try and, and take basically, essentially what you guys want to do is take a kind of one of these to cut them off, go straight like yep. that. Um, and uh, what? We're gonna, we're go I'm gonna go. Obviously, not to catch covering up. that distance. I'm just drawing it out so it's easy to see. So I, I, I'm going to try to cut off the, uh, wa the wagon master, like. Okay, so he sees you guys coming, and he tries to take another, um, um, another turn like this. I need a percentage roll as he kind of goes like trying to go like that. I'm not Can I um? I ask if uh, actually you maybe roll it. Uh, you roll it, Valar, since you're kind of out of the the thing here. Shit. Okay. Roll better than roll better. No, never mind. I'm not going to tell you what to roll better than just roll. Just roll. Oh yes, Shit. yes. Um, Shit. you see a large, like uh, think you know Star Wars: Return of the Jedi, the thing that they put them like. They drove him to, and that thing was in the sand, and that ate him. That was eating the creatures at the end of the movie. Yeah. Uh, think that, but uh, like a big worm launches out of the ground and just engulfs the entire caravan. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh, my yeah, and it's well! gone. <laughs> what did I have to roll to not have that happen? Uh, so you I had to roll over a thirty. <laughs> No! Do you know what? Do you know what? Action point. Uh, all right. Um, I okay. roll a 100. All right. Action point. That's not how action points Deduct. Work. Well, <laughs> no. Uh, you can. Uh, I'll. I'll allow you to use an action point. I. I wish you would have said it before the result, but I will allow it. Um, I, that you would have felt better about it. <laughs> uh. Well. I thought it was kind of a cool thing, but uh, no, what? Here, this thing no, comes wait. out of the ground, and they kind of just dodge to the to the side, but the oh. caravan will tip and roll, and uh, this thing will barely miss them, and you know you guys are a good distance behind it where you can maneuver around it, but as this thing comes back down and into the ground, um, leaving a big gaping hole. So like, we're talking gargantuan size here. And um, so I'll gladly ride up to the caravan and just hop off onto the wagon itself. Okay, uh, both of the people driving the thing are dead. Uh, one has snapped his neck, and the other one has is missing uh, his like half of his body. Like he he kind of got eaten by the worm, huh? Yes. Uh, they they are they appear to be human. That's sad. How how good do the horses look? Uh, the horses, uh, just because um, ice is in here, they run off free. No 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 <laughs> no no no! Are, are they gonna really go? It's okay. Off? It's okay. No, 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 if no, no, they no. die, it's okay. No, 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 no it's no, fine. No, I'm no, not no. here to kill horses. They fine. They run off. No no no! I I try to. I can I make an attempt to grab their reins, like leap off and grab them by the reins, cause, since they're still kind of attached to the carriage. Uh, well, they, the the carriage broke up, broke in half, and uh, and actually, um, I mean, because as going full speed and flipping would do, it breaks up the carriage, and the horses flip a little bit, and they neigh, um, but they're able to get up, I mean, but they're slow to get up. Um, so can I attempt to try to grab the reins or stop them? You can try, um, but uh, Natalia is also uh, flipping around, and uh, she's laying really? on the ground. All right, someone else take care of her. I got the horses. She'll hop off and rush over to Natalia and try to help her. Okay, and just... Uh, you, you are kind of catching up here, uh, Varlis. Uh, I know you're no like way behind. I, but, uh, I'm like 50 miles back. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> you I wasn't guys go that ahead! Far back. But we'll, we'll say you're close enough to where you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, are you... <laughs> and you guys can hear him breathing really heavily. Like his, his heavy breathing is super loud. Um, Alright, so can I, so with my athletics, can I leap off my own horse and grab these horses? Uh, by, like, you the range or something? jump onto one of them. We I, need to find me a vehicle! they kind of, like, split in separate directions. Uh, can I make a, can I use a hero point? To, to what, just say that, grab both of them? To say that they're, like, to just say that they, that the reins have to get cut on a tree, they're just kind of stuck together for a moment. Alright, no, here, I, I have one better for you. Uh, you can use a <sighs> hero point... 
but describe to me how you badassly take a rope and lasso them and do something so, cool to get them both. So I unhook the um, unhook my rope, leap off my horse, wrap it around the neck of this one, re-grab it, and so I have both the end of the rope and part of the rope pulling it with me as I grab the other one's reins and just anchor myself there, trying to hold it there. Okay, so you guys see a badass display in front of you. Uh, you see a man desperate to, to get two horses. Um, <laughs> he, he does exactly what he says, and it is, it is spectacular to see as he finally gets them uh, stationed. And then, I don't know, we'll just say for extra badassness, you ride them like one foot on each back, back or whatever. Like, I have actually done that. It's fucking cool if you You're can crazy. figure it out. You are crazy. Yeah. You are literally a crazy <laughs> so, person. So as I ride um, both of them yes, back yeah, out, you. have them pull back and dismount, I'm like, there. There should be a mouth. <laughs> it was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now yes. we, should, we should have mounts for everyone. As I try, hold the fucking horses here. Dana's just sitting there staring at him for like two seconds like, huh. Damn. Yeah, and mind you, he did all this like, like, full plate armor. He did all this like tough armor. I'm moist. Um, but anyways. Anyways, Natalia, how is she? We'll all group up together. Natalia seems to be okay. She just uh, she injured her, her leg. I mean, as as one would in such an accident. Um, she's lucky she's not dead. And um, this army is now approaching, and they start to like surround you guys, like you know, like the 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 army of uh, of uh, those people in Lord of the Rings. You know how the horsemen and they all surround you. You're being surrounded by these these beasts. Yes, like this might be the best thing. Um, when I notice this as I approach, <laughs> you you uh, actually all of this time like you had time to catch up to them, and they're talking, and they're coming too, and then they will surround you as you're kind of nursing her. Back to health. There was no avoiding it, I guess. By, by the way, I will Gosh. I will offer um, uh, Emotion and Taliande or someone. I don't care. Someone else can take the second horse. All right. Like, I am yeah. taking the horse. That, that's the whole. That was my whole goal. Was that <laughs> yeah. Now all, all of anybody deserves a horse at this point. Okay. <laughs> Two spears penetrate both horses. They're now dead. What a waste of your point. No, I'm just fuck kidding. you. <laughs> fuck just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Marlis are... reaches in through a hole in the universe, grabs your shirt. Say that again, I dare you. <laughs> I have ran right. like 200 miles today! <laughs> yeah, God, he has got to have some like great calves and cardio. Yeah. Like I swear <laughs> to God, he could run for like miles. This athletic like, should be increasing like, next time ladies, he levels up. Ladies, not be great. Like, the, this robe's like, oh my God, look at those legs. Look at those calves! <gasps> like, they've bent the armor around them to fit your muscular calves. <laughs> um, but, uh, so they surround you, and then, of course, the familiar faces will approach. Uh, the, two, the, the two humans and the elf will come out, oh, and they, they have these huge the smiles on their faces. Just an um, audible... And they say, and then the, the elf will speak first, and she'll say, um, I trust that you're not having the best look finding your book. And she has this huge, huge smile on her face. What's with the she shit? She looks confused. She looks like she's making a joke. I, I look at her. What's with the shitty and grin? I think you wrote a few too many of you. I'm sorry. I, uh, I, uh, I don't get the opportunity to see much entertainment these days, uh. I appreciate the show. Is your friend all right? Very entertaining. She's just blaring a little. What? If you look at this, I, 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 it's like a, a stick show. without a head. Um, anyway. <laughs> but anyways. Me, um, me being exhausted is all hell. Yeah. <coughs> what show? Oh, oh I wow. Kind of look at him, I look at him like, Points you know. Points to wreckage. I kind of oh. like, I was on two horses at once. I was a fucking. Oh, I thought. Yes. I, oh, okay. I, I perceive. I have to see anything like that. Okay, I perceive the issue wrong. Right, and I look, look at her. You'd be surprised how many things I got. So, uh. If you can see underneath my helmet, I give her a wink. <laughs> She smiles. She's like, uh, Glares. Is there any oh, news God. you wish to share with us as she looks around at the army surrounding you? 
Um, wipes my hands together. Well, you see, nah, I don't think you need to know. We right, have nothing new for you. Considering all we've done is kill the thing. slime. She, she, uh, her, and the two and her two human friends go and inspect the bodies of the people that were driving the carriage. Um, you know, taking off their whatever they had on their face to to look at their faces, and uh, she just kind of kicks them over, and she says, um, "Hmm." It says I feared, sisters. She looks at her two human friends. Um, you actually, you she uh, she says, uh, "They're from our, they're one of our own." They took our I friend. Kind of I do not feel bad for killing them. Nor at. should you. Well, technically, it was a giant worm that came out of the ground. It wasn't us. We were <laughs> clean. The worm just stopped for dinner. <laughs> Says, um, I'm not apologizing. Well, we figured there there was uh, traitors amongst our group. Um, how, it, it's the only thing that makes sense. Uh, I just wish they were alive so we could interrogate them. I kind of smile a little bit. Even she kind of grins a little bit like... This can be arranged. Okay, now I must <laughs> I, ask what's so funny. I just I, I kind of grab one and pick up the corpse. Why? What do you wish to ask this? Lady? You're going to shove your hand up its ass and make him talk like a <laughs> puppet? <laughs> and I, like, like, really, I have the symbol of no rule. Uh -huh. This bitch should know who the hell she's talking to. Yeah, but, uh, you know. She's, uh, at the same time keeping it safe. She, she doesn't right. want to imply anything. But uh, I think uh, Jolts wanted to say something. I'm oh, sorry, Jolts. Uh, I just pointed the two of them. And, wait, so Natalia was not with them, or was she? Oh, no, she was. Oh, no, she's there. Yeah, she's she's you're, okay. she, You guys are kind of like a nurse in her back to health. I mean, she's it's just a minor leg wound. She'll be fine. Oh, thank God. I just used, like, cure her wounds on her? Her on the other hand, doesn't look like it's in the best shape. I, so, I'm going tragic to... Loss. You know what? I got a plan. I'm going to walk over to her, and I'm going to heal her, and I'm going to basically say, uh, hand her a journal and say, uh, I see you left a paper trail. You lost a lot of your pages, correct? Yes, a lot of my past experiences were in there. I'll be ashamed to lose them. Uh, real quick before you uh, say respond, uh, Valaris, you are the only one not interacting with anything. Give me a perception. You can use your passive if you wish. But uh, anyways, um, you go ahead while he's rolling. Well, yeah, I say you gave me quite a scare, friend. Fuck you. How dare you roll so <laughs> Fuck low? Fuck you. <laughs> I am. I'm serious. I have critical failed four times tonight. Yeah, it happens every well, session. Every game, game, there's always that guy who rolls low. That's why I don't so even not... roll in the freaking system. What? I roll out of the game. I still roll so, low, but anyways. Since I'm not actually attempting, can I use my passive perception? Um, you can roll. You are engaged in conversation. I will not give you passive because you are not looking. It would be like a corner of your eye kind of thing, and it would you would have to like... Like, That's kind of what passive is. I know, but it was like you are engaged in a conversation. You were looking at somebody. It would. It. I think that. Oh my god! It, it doesn't matter. You roll bad, anyways. Um. So. I the um, one. Can, can can I roll? The, <laughs> no, it just, was a one-time opportunity. What about machine? Hey, Jolts, why don't you use an action point? There is a reason why only Valaris Vol in a cor like a very rare corner of your eye thing uh, is is was the role. So, so I do very hold, hard hold the guy who has his broken neck and kind of turn and kind of grab his neck and head and face towards her. Why don't you Why don't you ask the dead man a question? I'm sure he'll gladly answer to it. I thought he, you like oh, cracks. Sure he <laughs> Santa's oh, yeah, no. giggling the whole time in vast amusement at his behavior. As I am, um, as I as, as I kind of will make a few gestures with my hands. Yes, yeah. As I let, as I pull out some incense and burn it underneath his nose. Speak, friend. As I cast speak with dead on him. Okay, uh, we'll get we'll get right back to you, Jolts. I know you're in the middle of doing something. Um, but we're kind of happening at the same time. So, uh, what uh, you know <gasps> that you need to ask it a question before it can respond. Right, and I say, ask a dead man a question. I'm sure he'll answer it for you. I am Jon Snow. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> that fucker should have stayed dead and you know it. Sorry, spoiler alert. No. Uh, 
I'll have to edit that out. Thanks. Sorry. Uh, shit. What time are we at? Uh, we're, we're getting to the point where we should probably have to stop here. Oh, I'm just saying I need to mark the time so I know when to edit it out. All right, 302. Sorry. All right, go on. So I look at her. Why'd you ask this dead corpse a question? I'm sure he's excited to see you. Still waiting on okay. that question. No, I look at her. She can ask the question too. It doesn't just have to be me. No, I know that. I know you're talking to her. I'm waiting on, on her to give me the question. How many licks does it take to get the Tetsis? <laughs> Tetsis. Well, I'm talking to the elf bitch. All right, well, we'll wrap it up. I, I mean, I'm, after we wrap up the scene, it. Damn, we didn't even get. I didn't even get very far in my notes. But, anyways, um. Yeah, after we wrap up the scene, uh, it shouldn't take more than ten minutes. I uh, just need the questions, and then we'll we'll end it. We'll end it. Yeah. So I'm looking at the elf commander of this part, where she's like, "Damn, I wish we could interrogate him." <laughs> well, ask him. Oh, boy. you're ask asking the. I thought you were asking. Uh, uh, no. Thena for the. Questions. Wait a minute. No, I'm ask. I'm telling this oh. bitch to ask ask her questions. Uh, she she kind of looks at you oddly, as if like you're some psychopath, and then she's like, "Okay, um." Um, uh, why did you betray our village? And then it starts, uh, taking, like, it, like, sits up, and then it looks at her, and its head's, like, shaking, barely holding on, and it's like, because we found a better offer from a stronger village. <laughs> yeah. And actually, we'll start laughing, just like you are. Like, like I, I hope she's like horrified by the sight. She I is. Really do. She doesn't like this answer. She's like, "How many questions do I get?" As she grabs it by the throat, I want to ask I, I, more, I, and she pulls it closer to him, to her. And, and I, and I hold up three fingers, three more. In all actuality, I get five. I get five. I'm just giving her four. <laughs> she, uh, she says, "Where is the book?" And it shrugs its shoulders, as like his hand falls off. Um, and, uh, and she says, where were you heading? And, uh, he's, and he just, he's like, uh, he points north. Uh, he says, we were taking the scenic route. <laughs> um, no, I guess it is a cryptic answer. She, like, slaps his head and it spins in a circle a few times and it falls off. And then, and I uh, say she one throws more. the body oh. away and grabs the head, like Shakespearean and stuff, and... She says, to be or not to be, no. Um, she says, um... <laughs> that was a question. <laughs> yeah. She says, um, what did you do with my father? He says, oh, he is much alive. But that, but and, that doesn't explain and what he did. he is the prisoner. He says, you are, I do not know where he is. It starts laughing again. Well, yeah, yeah, but but no, it, no, no, no. It, it it gives answers it would be able to understand because it just gives semblance of life. But well, yeah, he doesn't know where it is. He's like, I don't know where it well, is. Oh yeah, but but they, but that doesn't explain what he did with the corpse with him. He, did it, you, he he captured he, him he, and took he, him somewhere. No, he just he just knows that somebody took it. All right, so I'm like, questions are up. As I go to take the head from her, she uh, she winds up and then football punts the skull. No, no, no! I I, I grab it right before she does so. Okay, well then she uh, she at least goes through the motions and then you grab it. I believe your questions are up. I look. If you had the opportunity, what would you do to this bitch? As I look at her and expect expect it to answer. I'd want her to be alive so that I can make her suffer for all of her years. That's what I would like. Or his years. I just crush it, crush the back of its skull open and let it drop. Okay. She says, well, thank you. I don't know what kind of evil magic you used to do that, but it was helpful. Uh, we are in your me. debt. She says, men, out. We must continue north. All right. And they start riding out, and then uh, we'll we'll kind of end it there. You guys can say any last things you want, but at least at this point, the emotion can leave, so she can go to bed. Um, or whatever. 
And uh, just internet's gonna get yanked out, so I'll be up for a while. Um, Can we kill the elves? The only thing <laughs> that I was going to do left was um, I was essentially going to take a few pages from my journal, the big one, and give it to Natalie. We didn't, get any, and, we didn't get to the combat for this session. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I I, I know. I'm aggravating myself. And after I give her the pages, I kind of wink to her and say, "Keep this a secret, would you?" Or actually, he would kind of he kind of wink to her and smile and say, eh, "I wouldn't mention this just yet." And not it's a secret. secret. He doesn't like secrets, but he says he doesn't want to say it out loud yet, unless somebody asks. And with that. He takes his thumb and uses the nail to slice a divot in his thumb and then rubs the and then rubs it over his journal. Yeah, he has long nails, but uh, he slides it along his journal as the pages reform and parts of ink and paper fall from instead of blood from his thumb. So you're repairing her wait. I give her some pages from my book, and then I'm going to spin, and then I'm going to basically use my uh, the paper and ink going through my veins to to repair my own book. So I'm sorry, is this Natalie's journal you're repairing, or no, 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 his. Yeah, he, he, gives, he gives, gives her some, and he repairs oh. the book. Oh, okay, so you're just giving her blank pages, though. You're not restoring her journal. I right. I am to an extent because the jur because the pages are from my journal, which means they can pick up on the information that she wants to put on it. Do you uh, get any of the information that you're giving her? I do not. This is okay. purely for her. It has to be in my like I don't automatically know anything my book does. I have to read it. I got you, but but you don't know the information you're putting in her journal, and it's not written in your book. Exactly. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So that happened, and she she seems like extremely grateful uh, for this. Um, she says um, you don't meet too many people who uh, are willing to do such niceties for for others. Um, I won't forget this. I know, and swell. Well, I'd like to consider you a friend, so you can count on me. Likewise. Well, she says hey. I am I'm in debt to all of you, so. But that, right, so I, so I kind of look at this elf bitch, and I'll, you know, I, I, give her a bit of that, give a glare, like I will, like, like if she, if she doesn't watch herself, bad things could happen. <laughs> yes, uh, it seems to be a common theme in this realm. <laughs> you keep saying realm. What do you mean? This is just a way of life. Yes, of course. Right, right. Right, right. I, I, I'm trying to play out the fact that I don't know about the other yes, realm. Yes, and she's trying to play out the fact that she doesn't know more than she's leading on. So, but she keeps saying weird things like, like it seems to be the way. Rolling she, perception. Um, and no. I'm kind of like, okay. why All the right. hell does she keep saying that? You, you guys okay. know that her elder was the the keeper of the book of elder evil, so that's not a role given to people who just don't know anything. Right, right, right. Yeah, but so. but I don't, but I don't know. So that yeah, just you don't like know. She's just, she's just, she's just speaking nonsense. cryptically and weird. I just yeah, yeah it's weird. It's, it's like nobody calls it a realm. It's a continent, or you know, or it's you know. Yeah, this this is yeah. our world, right? This this is the whole mm. world. Like like elves are weird. This is the yeah. way of life, right? Freaking right, right. Elves. Just people, people are fucking weird. We've been around. Speaking of which, my character ever since seeing the music sheet may become obsessed with the idea. Of the other six dragons that apparently this sheet mentions, and okay. this other plane that he saw. All right, well, For one, let me have we turned off the. No, yeah, let me in the broadcast stream? real quick. So, uh. No, oh, wait, no! I was oh, gonna oh. say something. Oh, no, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Next time on Dragon <gasps> Ball Z. No, oh, we'd be like. Hi everybody and thanks so much for watching. If you guys want to see more of this, stay tuned for next week because it's going to be full of more cahoots and hijinks with Jared's friends to whom think that he's great but don't want him to t tell him that he smells bad in person. Oh, thank you guys so much. Bye! Except for when they do voices and literally just put it all on the table and really hurt my <laughs> um, We'll have that discussion after in the stream. Thanks everybody for watching. This is the end of the Oh, great. He's the depressed next one. now. The next one. <laughs>